And ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to the Game Arena X Cheeto Wonga Modern Warfare 3 Kickoff LAN event. It has been an amazing weekend so far, starting with 60 teams, starting with 14 sets of casters, or rather 14 casters, not 14 sets. That would have been wild. <laughs> we brought it down all the way to two apiece, just you and me, Ajax, and we get the pleasure of casting this grand finals matchup. Go ahead and tell me about it, because this is probably going to be the best match we've seen all day. 100%. We have an absolute fire set incoming. You talked about it. It was a competition for us to be able to get to the point to be able to talk about this. But before that, the Cinderella story was told, and then it was a lie, because the glass slipper did, in fact, not fit onto New Jersey's heels. They weren't able to get the win they were looking for in the back-to-back -back matchup of not only beating Fourth Space earlier, but they lose the run back in the 3-0. Now this lines up the number one and two seed of the bracket. This is the prediction that everybody expected to see in the winner's finals earlier, but this time now it's grands. For anybody who's curious, I saw a couple people asking about it, grand finals in a double elimination bracket means Houston Spartans must lose twice. They're on the winner's side of the bracket. Everybody must lose twice in any given match. So that means if they lose to fourth space esports two times, they are out. But if the Houston Spartans win one time, fourth space has already lost once. That would be their second loss, and Houston would take it all home. Yeah, just getting that advantage coming through the winner's bracket. Haven't dropped a set yet. Now leading themselves into the grand finals against fourth space esports, who was our number one seed. And as the story had told, they did lose that first 3 0 to New Jersey Prodigy, but since then it was a 3 2 win, a 3 1 win, and a 3 0 win to close out their losers' final run. And now we've got our first of a possible two map sets here Invasion Hardpoint, double terminal on SD and Hardpoint after. And then if we get there, double Karachi on Hardpoint and SD to close out what could be one of two best sets of five here. Well, it could be, like you said, two times, or will we see the one time? They only need to take it once, as we have Grand Finals now beginning of Houston Spartans versus Fourth Space, and already getting picked off for two pieces himself is Exotic, who has been on the money every time they've ever needed it. That time, though, his head getting ripped clean off, and that's not what you want to see. Everybody converging over here on P1. Everybody throwing their body here at this point, just trying to get some of this early time, trying to fight for those P2 spawns. You see them all rushing in here. Force Space Esports doing a good job at controlling the chaos, playing the trades to a T. Contested time right now. Kamwa, the last man up. Are they going to be able to find him? Absolutely. And it'll give the last 17 seconds to Force Space Esports as now the race is on for P2. You already see Rambi heading on over, and to join him, there is Chris, who has, at least saw in the last map, Chris was feeling good. And Teddy also said himself, they're feeling better, their comms weren't exactly the clearest, but it looks like communication is on point, at least for now, as they're able to rotate quickly and in a hurry. Absolutely. Yes. First little bit of hill time to go their direction for Space Esports. Still 50 seconds left to go. New brand hill pop. And now you got to figure out a way to get into it if you're the Houston Spartans. It looks like three-man hit from around the side, but a couple of trades going either which way. Pin stripes in the kill feed. Exotic going to try to peek. Not going to find one there. Rep will shut him down. And that will be hill time, at least for the moment, for the Houston Spartans. But you got to watch out for these close spots. Rep always representing the Houston Spartans when they need it the most, and also the most animated person pretty much in that building. Will he remain shirtless after this is done? Who knows? But he might be <laughs> tossing that jersey on over to Fourth Space side just to let them know what's up. Rambi trying to oh. help out a little bit there, getting a pick, but it's oh. going to be Choco who catches two. I don't think that they could see him there under that little position. That is a dangerous little head. You got to save that one for my ranked play games later whenever that comes out, um, Call of Duty. But Houston Spartans <laughs> right now do hold the last little bit of scrap time as they head on over to P3 right now. Taking a look at your minimap, it is going to be for Space Esports locked, loaded, ready to go there on P3. Trying to find some of these rotational gunfights. Kamal will find one, but Ajax, it's a good hold so far. Got, him, got some extra points back into their favor where they needed it before the space hovering over chilling right now but it's conwell who has something to say about that teddy answers back so does purez and right now it's looking very good for houston as they start to navigate back over onto the point yeah definitely trying to as well 51 seconds houston 
Husband in that lead, locking this hill down. It's got fights going on all over the map. Exotic's gonna be able to find two here. He's on a five three right now, trying to slip through that cruise <laughs> missile. He's gonna get shut down, and so is Teddy Choco choking him out there as the Houston Spartans do look like they're gonna you know, be able to garner the last 14 seconds of this. Sometimes we see those memes where people say I showed up just to make sure my op was down and the double drop shot from Choco just to take a look at exactly where the body's laid. And it doesn't look like Choco's really relinquishing that favor right now, but Chris getting popped. Got it. Able to catch Conway. 84 to 42 right now as this new hill has just popped. Houston Spartans are in control. Trophy System is doing their work. The trophy System does get taken out. Now a little peek from Exotic on the side. He opts on in. That'll be four space esports hill for at least a little bit now as the rotational gunfights are starting to come in. These spawning players, where are they coming from? What lanes do you need to cover to lock this hill down? Rep deciding whether he wants to go from the top side or not. And right now, here he comes, and it's going to be Exotic who gets the read on that. He does get clipped a little bit by grenade damage, but not getting the job done. Pure trying to find him, and he does it instead. Rambi coming in to give him the assist and help him out for a moment. And Rambi will find two there as well. An exotic 15 and four still hasn't found that cruise missile just yet, but on over to where we saw that amazing game between New Jersey Prodigy and this Force Space Esports team already. This is the hill that Force Space Esports absolutely locked down and made it their own. Right now, trying to find a way in as the nades are flying over top. Chris with the pistol and you're in. That is not the hill you wanted to die on whatsoever, and that is instead going to end up allow them a free push. We got both of them looking to see if they can catch Rep. Rep looking to see which one of the ways they're going to peek their way through. He's going to go ahead and take a look, and he's not ready for Chris, who's laying down, ready to gun him down. And for Stacey Sports now able to take the lead back, lock this hill down that they so absolutely perfectly did in the last match that we saw them in. Chris already on a five spree, doing what he does best. Shots raining in all red skulls for Chris. Finds the cruise missile, the pistol out as well. And Ajax, it is fourth space esports oh that are God. just shredding right now. Even in that position where normally somebody would rather just hold down the point and keep the high ground. He said, nah, I'm willing to come to you. I don't really give a damn about this. This ain't no Star Wars. This is all war. And he has the cruise missile available when he Ooh. feels like dropping it. And Choco there with a good two-piece, but gets shut down by Rambi. Maybe able to get his team in back with this P1 time, but Kamwa's going to fly in. He has something to say about that. Now trying to cross this 100-point threshold for the Houston Spartans, still down about 50. Many times over, we've seen Houston Spartans have a slower start, but pick it up as the match has gone on. A big part of that, of course, coming in from Conwell, who's been able to really put the team on his back quite a few times. But Perez, Rep, both of them. Hovering over on the side, looking to see when they want to go give an assist. Here we go with a slide in. We're going to catch Ooh. one of them. Rambi catching Perez on his way through. Able to pick that gun up now as well, so no reload for him. Here come the trades as Joko comes in, but Teddy right there to play it. Finds the kill they need, but immediately contested right back. The slide on in. The shots are good, and the shots are blue. Chris Radial finds two and finds a 16th of the map. Sounded like, <laughs> sounded like poetry right there because he was indeed ready for you and everything that showed up along the way. Chris has been continuing to be dominant, but it's all about the team effort. And so is Exotic Sporting 24 and 8 on that KD. And once again, already in position right where they need him to be to cover point B over on this next rotation. 163 and counting right now for the four space esports they just have to hold this lead continue to build on it but here comes the push on in they'll find one off of that but chris already on a five spree of his own exotic locking this hill down just trying to peek down this alley not finding anything quite yet the shots are mixy the shots are shaky now the stun comes in here comes the hit from the spartans they'll find one with rep on exotic but it won't be mount to much more than that as a couple players go down from the trades it'll be vacant hill time for now but still trying to find a way back in for both of these teams it's time to make a power play pretty soon. You want to make sure that you don't let that deficit get too far out of hand if you're fourth space esports. And that does not help when you have two bodies dropping. Of course, a little bit of assistance coming in from the other oh. side. Everybody gets right back and Rambi with the double up off the pistol. Are you kidding me? Nah, that is not allowed here. Fourth space esports absolutely starting to run through Houston right now. The lead just continues to build almost at that 200 point threshold. Chaka will find a couple there, but no more than that. Rambi trying to slide around, finds another one there. Exotic as well onto Perez, going to open this hill up, and oh my oh, goodness, free. look at those free 99 kills from Chris Radio. Oh, BOGO is in session. It's all oh, it's almost the holiday season, and you're getting those family gifts right off you need. But Conwa coming in and answering right back himself, catching them, not paying attention. It's an opportunity here to make a push. Does Conway catch him on the side? No, he doesn't. He does not catch the corner. 
Yeah, I gotta check the corners there as Rep flies in, flies one, no more than that as the trades are good for Force Space Esports. And you gotta take a look up at that 213 to 110. It has absolutely become a slamming here on Invasion. Force Space Esports invading the grand finals and looking to take a 1-0 series lead. Now remember, the bracket reset does require them to win two best of fives. So it's a long way to go for Force Space Esports, but 230 to 110. My goodness. It's a good way to start it off. Put the hammer down and right now trying to put the hammer down on his oh, target, which was exotic no. and exotic. Sending a little bit of an extra message back at him saying, who the hell do you think you are? I am. This is my home. I'm number one here. And this is looking very much so like Four Spaces game to lose. If you get that reference, you are cool in my book. That's all I got to say. But Houston Spartans locking it down right now. But they've got to play Picture Perfect Con, and that's not the way to do it. Three dead in the feed for Force Space Esports. Five seconds left. Three, two, one, and that will be it. 250 to 116. That is domination through map one. You can see him right there, the man himself, Exotic, holding it down for all of us out here. Watching that performance time and time again has been nothing but incredible. But Chris, radial, radiating championship level energy, always in the fray, always in the midst of it all, sporting that 29 and 18. He went on the another high kill streak. So did Exotic, both of them sporting seven apiece. Man, Matt, look, <laughs> I know we say it all the time. That one, though, a bit different. A little bit more of a dominance play to start things off. Yeah, it definitely was. Now, we do have to take into account that that was fourth space map pick, right? They must feel yep. very comfortable on that, obviously, by the showing that they just performed 250 to 116. You're heading into Terminal, SND and Hardpoint, back to back. It's a map that Houston feels very, very comfortable on. It is for was space map pick on that map three terminal hard point but as we've seen time and time again how well this houston team performs you gotta look to them here to maybe steal two maps back in a row and put themselves up to one in the series yeah this is actually the most crucial point in this series right now houston getting essentially three maps in a row if you will because uh, they got search so they get comfortability they also just ran through new jersey earlier when they had s d for that second map pick on terminal then we, I don't know how many times we have to say it, but today they have just been so dominant on hard points. So that pick for fourth space is essentially still a pick for them. And they decided to drop the last one. Their final chance is over on Karachi. So it could go Houston's way, but I am definitely feeling super amped up if I am team fourth space after the way they played that first game. 100%. I mean, it was domination, right? I thought we were playing hard point. 250 to 116. They almost don't even allow him to get over that 100 point threshold. Now here we head into terminal S and D. This is Houston's map pick, and they need it desperately. You go down 2-0 early, you might as well look forward to that bracket reset because it's coming quick. It's time to put it to work. We're going to head over to B and we're going to see bodies drop oh. immediately as they get two of them on the red pyramids and Choco dropping right off the bat to the cook grenade, but also the pressure play there. Oh, and a beautiful kill there oh, and another yeah, wrap one it up. to follow it up. <laughs> wrap it up. It's a gift and it's Christmas time. Fourth Space Esports. A quick round one there. And I mean, we talked to Teddy before this map, right? I mean, he said, hey, we really feel like we came out cold. We were at 11 and 0 before this. We're the first seed for a reason. If we play our game, this is going to be over quick and easy. Speaking of quick and easy, that was the fastest map that we've had on search by far all day long. That is a message sender. It's only the first round, but that is definitely one that tells you, hey, by the way, don't get comfortable. What happened last match is going to happen again. I'm not going to lie. I definitely thought you were going to hit me with a your mom joke when you said quick and easy. But uh, no. <laughs> heading in here, Perez going to be able to find one as well as Rep. That's three dead in the feed. Clean the next one up. And did you just not say <laughs> that that's the fastest round that we've seen? Nana, -na. Houston Esports. <laughs> They've got, sorry, rather, the Houston Spartans, they're going to one-up that pretty quickly. I'm sorry, I, I could have sworn that Games Done Quick was in another month or so, but instead we're out here <laughs> speedrun category, the, the option is terminal, and we just had a set record that was immediately broken by the Houston Spartans. Show, they, they showed, like, look, let's go ahead and calm down. That first map, not so much. We got it. Sorry, I was not familiar with your game. Houston Spartans. <laughs>
quick round on the board there as it's tied up one apiece. Couple of early shots in for Perez. Does look like it's going to be an A hit as they are rushing this plane. It is ruthless aggression right now out of the side of the Houston Spartans. They're able to find one, but the quick play back in from Ramby could do some damage. Beautiful nade there to get the man advantage back in their favor. I could have sworn we were playing Search and Destroy. It feels like we're playing Team Deathmatch instead because everybody is just running right in, throwing blows, getting their shots up. But at the moment, it's not something you can afford to do if you're on Houston Spartans. You only have two people available. You have to pick and choose your options correct. And right now, the option is deciding to sneak their way on over to A. They're still committed to making this attempt at the plane. And a quick couple of shots in there, but Rep's going to go ahead and back on out. So now, Houston Spartans, with 36 seconds left, have got to find a way to get this bomb planted. Trying to wrap over back to the B site, but not really going to be what you're looking to see as Teddy Rex ready to wreck this whole plan for, for Space Esports. Teddy is in prime position to shut oh. this move down. <gasps> He's down. Oh, no. He's down. He doesn't notice. What? Oh my God. He didn't notice. You got to be absolutely kidding me. There's no way you knew he was there and he just let it rock. But they do get one pick, so it doesn't matter. They still have the bomb over on the point. Choco has to be the one to make the clutch here. He's got to get the bomb and he does not have enough time to finish the job on that. They still stop it. But holy shit, that was close to not <laughs> being in their favor. Oh my goodness. Y'all are making Ajax lose full. We've got to calm down out here. I mean... He had to have spot at least maybe a player name, maybe a little bit of a pixel glitch there. And if he didn't, I'm not going to lie, we might need to get a PC check out here. What yeah, was man. that? Yeah, what in the world are you doing seeing that, bro? And we, we, you know, we got ops on the other side, man. People are like, hey, yo, 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 run the corner, run the corner, go, 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 go. But it is time to go, go, go indeed as the timer runs down to one. And we are currently looking at a 2-1 lead here for fourth space. Time for them to figure out how they can build on that lead. Man, Reprocity's glasses must be seeing some stuff I'm not. <laughs> As early mates come in here, Teddy Rex, gonna be playing his life here. Just playing it smooth, playing it smart. Stun check comes out, that's gonna be the information. Now Combo's gonna go ahead and slide up, quick check, not gonna spot anything more than that. Rep will find one on the other side of the map. Going to get the man advantage in the Houston Spartans' favor. Worst game of chicken here on Terminal on the plane. Who's going to be the first one to budge? Both of them. This kind of <laughs> no one really committed. I was trying to say, uh, I want to ask you the problem. We'll go say something. I don't know. I'm not feeling too comfortable about it. And that's exactly <laughs> what they're going to do. They're going to disengage and make yet another pivot over to B. Yeah, but with four players still alive for the Houston Spartans, they've got the ability to cover both of these sites. Smoke does go down there. That's going to be good for Ramby. He's going to be able to try. I thought he'd see Rep there, but not going to happen. Rep's going to slide up after finding that first one. He's just in the gunfights right now, not able to find any more than that. That bomb, not able to go down just yet. The plant coming through, but it's still a 2v3 for the side of four space esports. Well, they're able to still get the bomb planted, and somehow Teddy walks away with his life in a situation where he can't really move. He knows that he's there, but he did. He challenges Conway. He goes after Conway. He's going to end up putting on the fight with Conway in that position, too. Teddy is built different. He doesn't said die in that spot, though, and that is going to allow them to still get the round. What an insane job at the end there, but man, that was looking stressful. And still more back and forth tennis ball action that we have been accustomed to all weekend long here. Playing S and D at the game arena land, and I mean, it's just happening again, isn't it? I uh, it really is. It really is. Don't let it be you, version number two. Uh, that we, it's uh, caster edition, where we are running into a spot. We are slowly progressing our way towards yet another round of eleven. I I know we're still early on it, but it just it just has that feeling. It really does. I mean, it's already back and forth action here on Terminal. You'd like to see Conwa maybe step it up a little bit here for the Spartans. You feel like if he could keep going, get heated up, it would really be a game changer, especially here in a close, tight, contested one. Ramby's going to find the early one on to Perez there. That's the first blood. Immediately traded, though, Conwa. That's who we just talked about. Finds one, but Chris will find him as well. 2v3 situation for the Spartans. Gonna pick the bomb back up there over for rep. Choco gonna get the sneaky needs, but Choco getting answered back because of that reveal. So now it is all on rep. Staring down two, not impossible. But position wise, they have both sides of the aisle covered. Ooh. And rep actually sneaking his way play. underneath. He's gonna be able to go to escalator side. This is huge, Matt. I mean, the beautiful play from him here. He's going to be able to sneak around. Oh, he finds the first one in the back here. Sneaky shots. The trigger discipline. Rep wants it. Oh, rep. What? Rep. 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 rep bro okay here is the first time we do it what are you doing bro that was what are you doing 
<laughs> I, like, I, I, and I get it. I get it entirely. You want to make sure that you can sneak up, make the play quick, don't give up your location. That way you can try and make something happen. That said, get cooked because he <laughs> ended up getting the turnaround and getting, stopping what could have potentially been one of your dubs. Yeah, and not only that, it could have given him the advantage not only in the round, but in the map itself here. I mean, that round goes your way. You're up 3-2. You find yourself on the defensive side. You got to be feeling good. You know, we we love the confidence sometimes at a rep, but hey, gets the better of him there. And we don't know what's going through his head there. Maybe, you know, yeah. trying to find another player, but it doesn't work out for him in the end. All jokes aside, it is always very funny. Well, hey, hey, Teddy. Oh, um, hey, Teddy. oh no. Hey, hey, uh, hey Teddy. Uh, Con, would, Con, would, Con would like have, have a, a little bit of a conversation. Uh, you shouldn't slide up and just throw <laughs> and just put your ass in front of him like that. <laughs> you should, that's just not going to work out. <laughs> Rep with the shots with the pistol. Those are good. One more up. Might be one more down. There it is. And the Houston Spartans able to knot things up at three apiece. I mean, you're not wrong, Teddy. You can't just go around sticking your ass in front of people. I don't think that's allowed. Hey, man, look, some people pay for that. And at least, look, have, have some self-respect, all right? Like, you can get the, you can get something out of this. But right now, it is all about this even set count, man. They continue to impress time and time again. Of course, big part of this, they could have potentially been up 4-2 if Rep somehow finds that dub in that previous one. Because a lot of that is all hypotheticals. We don't know if he actually wins that set after. But he has sure picked it back up as he's sporting a two-kill streak, seven on the board. They definitely want to get this lead back. Absolutely. Three apiece right here, halfway through this map to dire importance here for the side of the Houston Spartans. They want to get this series knotted up at one apiece. They would not like to see a bracket reset. It's for Space Esports trying to force the impossible right here. The shots coming in there. Nothing landing just yet. Good Lit peak there. Doesn't get the kill, but at least gets the data that they need. They know they're all converging on the point. Well, he's going to get the bomb planted. He's sneaking right underneath, potentially. No, he's going to back off. It's not worth trying to commit. Everybody waiting for the opportunity. Exotic waiting to move in. I think he got eyes on Perez there. Yeah, Teddy also finds one onto Kamwa, so it gives him the two-man advantage in the round here. Perez is able to pick that bomb back up with the shots onto Exotic, though. Not going to amount to a kill. Rep going to be trying to make a play out through the backside, finds the first, now sneaking back in, evens things up just a little bit, but Exotic, too many angles to check, In fourth space eSports puts their fourth round on the board. Good job going around the corner and catching him slipping. Teddy has just been always on the money. Oh my god, what, what a awful feeling to jump on over the escalator and get caught up on the way up, man. That was just all options covered. Yeah, all options covered, all angles locked down and accounted for for Fort Space Esports there. Now hosting a one round lead here as we continue on into round eight of a possible 11 here. Eddie with the bomb, Fort Space E4 on the attacking side. All right, big, big, big preference to be over these last few rounds. And oh my goodness, let's uh, let's have a conversation with Rep there. That head has been removed clean. A fast, aggressive play here, attempting to get this plant on B, and they are going to get it for free. Yeah, and I love this play out of the side of Fourth Space. They just absolutely fully rush their way into the B site. They're able to find it there, and now leaves everything. Onto the Houston Spartans in a 3v4. Not impossible, but not the, exactly the advantage you want. Though, the nade going to come through, and it's a big kill here for the side of the Spartans. See if they can build on that. We have a 3-2 to two lead right now. We're going to get that quick drop down. Perez not going to get the mark that he's looking for. Right now, he is not. That is the worst spot. Do not try to take on that 3v2 fight going on over there. He's all by himself. He needs them to basically make a mistake, and a mistake they do not give. Right now, Ford. Ford. <laughs> Sorry. Fourth Sports Esports right now. Fighting their way almost to a 2 0. Ooh, and a nice little snipe to go along with it. Ajax, they're starting to hit a stride that we haven't seen since Saturday. And really, this loser's run that they've made, they've just continuously got better as it's gone along. It was a 3-2 for their first one, a 3-1 for their second one, and now a 3-0 leading into this one, looking to put another 3-0 on the board. I mean, fourth space esports just looking dominant right now. You know, there are many times before we have seen the people on the loser side win out the race to three. Right now, 
It's all been on the side of Force Space. And now uh, Rambi recognizing and realizing <laughs> that is not a safe spot. So he's going to wait for one of them to try to take position. But Chris getting the sneak. Yeah, and it's a big kill there for Force Space. They're able to find that first blood. The bomb is planted, so it's a little bit of pressure for him here. But they do have the advantage. But Rev, finding one back is going to even things right back up. It's just a 3v3 bully play now. A couple of early shots here. Um, they go around the rosy. You just can't find a play in peekaboo with him. A couple of kills go on the way of the other side. 2v2 now. Now into a 2v1. All left on to Rambi. He's got to be able to find this. 17 seconds left. They've got to be able to find this. Defuse, he's in. He's got oh. two on him. And that is going to be the Houston Spartans fighting their way back. Nodding if things a little closer. It was really close at the end there. Rambi almost made it happen. You can see, look at this health. He got pieced up a couple times, but quick switch over for Rep, able to make sure that does not happen. And he finishes the job that time, keeping this once again, to no surprise whatsoever, extremely close. Absolutely extremely close. Round 11 beckoning here, but it's going to have to come. The Houston Spartans putting another round on the board would be their second in a row. Are we going to see another five curse? or 5-3 curse game, or will Fort Sports Space Esports lock this one in and send us to a 2-0 lead here in our first of what could be two series? It's time to see if we can get an even set count or not. We're down to the wire here for Fourth Space to try and get a clean dub at a 6-4, but that is not looking too good for their chances as all Ooh. three of them drop. It's all on Chris. Rev with a beautiful three-piece in the round, and the Houston Spartans lock it in, and now we force round 11. You can see the juices starting to flow over there. Herbosity's getting excited. We've got another round 11 on our hands. How many are we going to see today? I don't know. <laughs> At this point, you, you, you would assume not many more considering it is grand finals, but the way things are panning out, if Fourth Space Esports wins the best of five, we will see at least three <laughs> the way it could go. I mean, it's just incredible, <laughs> incredible S and D, an incredible hard point as well being played by every team in the tournament here on Championship Sunday. No one wants to go home empty-handed, but only one can go home with the prize. What? One of them's gonna have to get the hell up out of here, and that's the, what they're trying to do is get away from the plane, because they have two of them covered. Positional advantage does actually favor Houston, because it's all Teddy on his lonesome. He got stunned. He's gonna try to run away. He's gonna be able to escape. He's gonna go hide by the restrooms. He might need to pee out of fear, but I don't know if he's gonna actually be able to finish getting back up there to try and help him out, but at least they get one in Choco. Yeah, that's a big kill from Exotic there to be able to find the first blood. Kamwa does have a good position here. Not sure if they'll think that they're this far pushed up here on this side. Perez, even things up into a 3v3 and things get even closer now. Oh, this is a big kill from Perez. Oh, gets help from the side under Revan. Now it's into a 2v3. Houston Spartans are completely in advantage right here, but taking out the planner. That's huge from Teddy Rex. The trade right back onto him into a 1v2. All onto Rambi. Rambi. Out here heading up the escalators. See if he could get one. He indeed gets one. There's still an opportunity for him to get it. And only comes out to this fight potentially here. And he's oh! not going to get the fight he needs. And instead, we're going to see the dub go the other way. Houston Spartans ice up in a round 11. And not things up at one apiece here in the first of what could be two best of fives. But the Houston Spartans are looking to get it done in one. 16 kills out of reprocities in an SMD is criminal. That is criminal. That actually might be federal. Honestly, uh, you take that every day of the week too after what happened with that other match where he was trying to close it out. Of course, you had to keep track of two people, not just one, but he wasn't able to finish when he had a full target lock on rep, picking up the team, putting on it, uh, putting it on his shoulders. And Matt, that's now a 2-0 that they've had in terms of playing search on terminal. Houston coming out on top on their map pick. Last time it wasn't even their map pick, but they felt so confident that they could take it back here. And now, this is what we talked about earlier. Terminal hard point, even though this one is fourth spacious choice. Houston has been on fire here. Yeah, it's a map pick that Houston definitely feels comfortable with. And I mean, why not, right? They continue to find success on Terminal, whether it be SND or Hardpoint. It doesn't matter. They just love this map pick and it doesn't matter who picks it.
If Houston's able to take this, go up 2-1 in a series where they already are feeling comfortable, they've got that bracket reset cushion in their back pocket, you gotta feel like the scales of COD start to tilt in their favor a little bit. I will say one thing that is definitely a good sign in favor for fourth space outside of the last play that Pobo o was able to do to get themselves to a game five. A majority of the match on that loser's quarters match was in favor of fourth space on terminal hardpoint. They just couldn't save it at the end. So we'll see what happens. Maybe they are able to replicate that success. Don't know if that's going to be the case, though, as we get ready to get into game number three at one to one apiece. Yeah, one on one to piece in the grand finals. Remember, $8,000 on the line for both of these two teams. Neither one of them wants to go home empty handed. We've talked about it all day, Ajax. 60 teams entered this tournament. Only one is going to walk out of here. Your game arena, Cheeto Wunga, Modern Warfare 3 kickoff land, grand champions. We're knotted at one apiece. Who do you feel has the momentum here? heading into this third map, which could be a <laughs> dire important map. Bro, don't ask me that. These have been so, these have been so like insane. Like, I, don't even, I don't even want it. I, don't ask me. I, I, I don't no, know. To be, to be honest with you, going into the next one, I think map advantage does favor uh, what we just saw from Houston and not even just from what Houston's been able to do on hard point, but rep drop in 16 on search. <sighs> like they, they, They're just, the corners are being cut, sliced perfectly down the middle, and you got to make sure that you're able to play spoiler on way that he just played. Going here into hard point, it's time to change things up and get a little bit quick with it. Yeah, they're trying to really snowball effect those last two maps into each other. A beautiful double nade kill opens us up here with Perez. A challenge for Kamwa comes in. Nothing going to add to much. Exotic will find one. Exotic will find two. Now Teddy Rex into the point. They're not going to amount to any more than that. It'll still be Houston in full control of this P1. As I say that, though, a late kill comes through, and it's vacant hill time for now. God, it was two for two for two, just back to back to back, like insane. Right now, though. It's all about Conwell, who's going to get caught down the middle. Uh, Choco is always answered right back. He has made sure to get the revenge kills every time. Absolutely. And now 13 to 13, not at a piece, but Houston Spartans are looking to make their way around to P2. We know how dire of importance it can be. This map is so money, fill, money hill filled. So we head back on to P2. Oh. <laughs> ah! No way! Oh no! Oh, oh, no! no! <laughs> Looking like Tom and Jerry taking out his own partner at that little bit of foolery, but we're gonna see Purez drop Chris as well. He gets entered right back himself from Exotic, but what an interesting trade off since everybody was trying to converge on P2, and that kind of took away the, their attempt at making the rush in. I just love the double uh oh from both of us as we see that <laughs> nade rolling back to his feet. Not that Eddie wanted to throw and not the start to this hard point that Houston Spartans wanted here. Fourth Space Esports is absolutely taking control. Kamwa though, one, two, not the third, as it will be the rotation now onto the plane. It does look like though, Fourth Sports Esports is absolutely taking control here early. You already see we got lined up and ready to go. Hiding out in that plane is Rep waiting for someone to decide to even make a move. But bodies are dropping everywhere, which kind of worked out in favor of the Red because Houston Spartans were able to kind of reposition themselves for free since Rep was already ready to go. And now it pops and it is Houston Spartans ready to go, as you say. But they've got a lot of ground to make up here down 88 to 21 with Teddy Rex already on a five spree as well looking to implement some more here the pistol though from Jocko is absolutely killer right now combo flies back in the Renetti is almost being used as a main AR right now it really is the amount of times we've seen kill feed jump over uh, speaking of kill feed rep has done so much of that able to get in there it's a little bit of a late start but that's where you need it right now choco gets caught in the background of rep as well it's a good time for them to get some few points on the board and just continue to build on this huge lead i mean 20 seconds left and now you've got to start thinking about those heavy rotations on to burger town teddy rex though already here and it's well ramby finding that first kill onto this hill and only perez really left standing here you gotta wait for your teammates to come and help here it's already 120 Two to 23 it's a hundred point lead heading on to our last set or rather our p4 here of this first set of rotations 
We've talked about it many times over. This is where the game can actually just get flipped on its head. Burger Town changes the pace of things. If you can get that perfect position of lockdown, which is what the Spartans have at the moment, they might be able to steal this lead back. Exotic sporting five kills on his favorite. Now looking like he wants to build on that. Rambi looking to see if he can close out this spawn. He can't commit. And he jumps over and he wins that fight. They take back the they take back the spawn. They absolutely do a beautiful break in from the side of Force Space Esports. And now 30 seconds to work with as well. Combo trying to fly and find anything that he can find, but there's nothing going. Rep will be able to find two along with Perez. That's three. Rambi's the only one left up here. The shots are clean, though, and Rambi, the Burger King here, holding down Burger Town. 138 to 37. It's still a 100-point lead as we head now to our last hill on this first set of rotations. Make that a double cheeseburger. The way that we're looking at what well, beyond the double points, we're actually going some insurmountable position. That's what you needed. You needed to have Burger Town in your favor. They lock away with it with only 37. They at least have this early control, but for how much longer? That's the key. Yeah, as the push now starting to come in, nade stuns everything being thrown at Houston right now, but it's all blue in the kill feed as fourth space absolutely locks this hill down. 40 seconds left to work with as well, and this lead just continuing to build. It is an absolute slaughter fest. It's almost a repeat of what we saw in map one. And if that's any tell to the rest of this series and what could be a second, Hardpoint is looking to become a very big problem for the side of Houston Spartans when it used to be one of their mainstays. How do you deal with Exotic when he's playing on fire? The answer is you don't. He's able to walk away with that with a five streak, looking for one more to add to that combo. He does finally get stopped. It took forever to do so. 163 sporting a 46 as Chris just gets right back in there after all that fighting they did he said I don't care you're not getting any points out of this it would have to be a monumental comeback for the side of Houston Spartans here if they want to bring this one back Chowko just trying to find a kill here he's about to run into the double chow flies one out finds one not the second it's a beautiful hold here for four space so far as they just continue to dominate on terminal 172 and counting right now not even the 50 point club for the Spartans Answering back on what I assumed might have been a pretty solid pick for Houston. We saw it earlier. They've been playing so great here, but this was their map pick, and they are showcasing exactly why as they're getting ready to crack that 200-point window pretty soon. They get, right now, Spartans, they have to make a play, and everybody keeps getting dropped. Everybody on the Spartans seemingly meeting their fate. 193 to 49, the lead almost 150 now. Choco as well on this hill trying to lock it down for Houston, but it's just been tough licks for the Spartans here on Terminal. It's just everywhere they go taking gunfights, they just cannot win. This is the pure biggest lead we have seen so far at Hardpoint all day, and it might finish that way unless they get something solved ASAP. Right now they do have early point control, but the fact is they haven't been able to keep point control. We were able to catch them in the back of security. That's already one power play position taken out. They, they're they able to at least trade off. Yeah, they're able to trade off there, but Teddy from the backside able to find one. That's Perez that trades it back. It's three dead in the feed from the Spartans, and the first semblance of life being showed by them as well. 35 seconds left to work with. They can knock a little bit of this lead off here, but again, it's picture-perfect COD that has to be played from here on out due to the just monumental lead that's already been built all it takes is one sometimes you just need that one big moment to start making plays happen and exotic finally getting caught for a change on his way through the early pivots though over to the plane will not be what they get instead they're gonna get caught and once again spartans Matt, they're looking a lot better as the match has progressed. Yeah, they have looked incredible since the match has progressed. They're really finding their footing here on Terminal, seemingly waking up as they now combo finds two. No more than that, though. Exotic flying on in himself, and there is the break all off of Exotic. A two-piece in the plane will open things up, and it will give them full control here for fourth space as now 212, 213, that 250 mark being crept up on ever so slowly. This is the fight you cannot afford to lose. They have to make something happen here. Exotic holding down the fort. Everybody going back to join him. You got the back of the plane already covered. You got mid plane covered. You got every single aspect of it covered. You have to win this next fight. You can't afford to be wasting more time. Everything looking great here for Force Space to try and finish it. And that's already one. That's two. It's looking like it might be through. I don't know how they can figure this out. One, two, and through. Rambi finds the third. And now only nine seconds remain. Fourth Space East has absolutely dominated all map long and continue to do so. 
Everything about your entryways from that is just a line of fire and a bullet hell. That was dominance. Pure dominance coming in from fourth space on that last map. And it was at the point with how close that the game number two was, we might have already seen the reset. We get a game number four because of the clutch plays from Spartans, but this one was rough. Yeah, I mean, if Reprocities doesn't find 16 kills in the second map s &D, we could already be down 3-0 here, like you said. And, I mean, Houston, there is a massive problem right now, and it is the fact that Houston, that Houston cannot find any success in the respawn game modes. Wow, man, just looking at the number differential mm. there for our fourth space, it's not close. Like, it, it, usually we've seen some very, very close matches. But man, it is not. And we just want to get things going real quick and in a hurry. So we're going to just throw it real fast to a short break as we get, prepara uh, get pre prepared, as I remember how to speak English, for that map <laughs> number four, heading over to Karachi. We will be right back with more of this Grand Finals. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back on in. Click what will be reset, and we're right back in the action. Fourth Space Esports up 2-1 in what could be the first of two best of fives here. We'll have to see if the bracket reset comes through, but the Spartans need something, and they need it now. Like you said, this is the final play to keep themselves on the winner side of bracket in a dominant position, and fourth space has been only dominant so far. As we're sitting here on P1, hovering over the big battlefield that is this reckless section of the broken down foundation. Right now, the way that they have played, they have not been able to solve fourth space on a hard point. There is no more options as the final shot peeks his way through, and Rampy still sneaks out the headshot. Still sneaks out the headshot and still sneaks out a little bit of time here. Rep will find one off the rotational gunfight there, but it's 13 seconds. Do look to go the way of 4th Force Esports and give them a really big lead here heading into P2. Great pivot position, already walking away with 30 points plus, looking very similar to last game. Perez just trying to watch his six, see if make sure anybody shows up. But you know, what he doesn't know is everybody is showing up on his position in a second. It didn't matter where he looked, there was blue ready to go. Yeah, there was blue players every which way he was about to turn, and now Exotic flying his way on in, able to get one another one from Rampy, but it's no more than that. It's a contested hill right now. It's back and forth action. Teddy Rex, can you check your backside here? Oh, you gotta watch for the door. <laughs> not that. Who's there? It's Chaco with the two piece. <laughs> Hello! Oh. <laughs> Anybody home? Yes, they are. As a matter of fact, everybody was home as Chaco gets not one, not two, but three in the middle of taking over the restaurant. I mean, absolutely crazy play out of Chucko there. Breaks the hill wide open for the Spartans and even gives them the lead now. 38 to 14, they're on these rotations. We do have to remember this is Houston's map pick, so they maybe feel a little bit better on Karachi hardpoint than Terminal. But for the time being, it's a, just a small lead, only about 10, 11 seconds now as they get a little bit of this scrap time. They're going to have to find these kills as they're absolutely doing so right now. If you're going to feel comfortable, the time to do it is now. You want to make sure that bracket reset doesn't happen. Going on 3-1 here, we're going to get a clean jump over from Exotic, who's starting to make that move. Everybody's starting to converge on the new pivot. There you see Perez already locked down, but Choco not going to be there to help him out. No, going to get taken out there by Exotic. Perez just trying to play his life on this hill. This is great hill time for the side of the Houston Spartans. Every second that ticks in their favor is good time for now. But Teddy Rex and Rambi now starting to make the push up. Rambi finds two. Teddy finds one. That'll be the hill for the side of Space Esports. And everybody looking like they are done when it comes to spacing down Choco at any given point in time. But Rambi also in a very similar position at that. Exotic, though, always showing up when they don't want it to most. They're start to make our way out of there. Only 15 seconds left on the clock. Not really worth making that push. We're going to get that control. And now on to P4, onto this bottom house area. Rez already in wait. Combo finds one in the top. That's Chris. You got to check your top side, brother. Chris finding one, no more than that. It's still a vacant hill for now. Two kills do come the way of the Spartans, and they should have control of this hill. Chris showing up like the landlord saying the rent is due and right now it's time for you to see if you can win this fight and that is not going to be the case you're looking for rep getting the grenade toss out there too I think he caught him in the middle of it no he does not get the grenade as well rep falls allows Rammy to get in but here's another fight off and Ram Rampy once again ramming his way through every single bad case scenario 
34 seconds still left to work with on this hill too. Not any scrap time to behold here. Hosts are trying to find their way in, but it is just locked down right now. As trains <laughs> do come through, Perez will be able to find one onto Ramby. They'll try to find their way into the hill, but it's still just a three second lead for the Spartans. Throwing professionalism away for a second. Every time I see that jump around those ledges, I scream in my head, parkour! Right now it's time. <laughs> oh! <laughs> trying, to, trying to do some parkour oh! himself as he slides down and gets the kill. Teddy is always on top of things, and nobody's ready to look up when he is. Huh? Teddy off the top rope and on top of the kills here. It might be a lead change now for the side of Door Space Esports. They force their way in. They're in the point. Exotic's got the three-piece. And now the lead is with them as well. Much closer game here, but of course they do take over a momentary lead. Chris is going to get caught trying to find his way over the backside. Taking a look over at Rep and Conwa, seeing if they can navigate their way to the back of the building. They are going to at least get one. Actually, Rep gets two in the middle of it too. Everybody falling, and this is a perfect spot for Houston. Absolutely is now able to really garner some time here for themselves, trying to get the lead back in their favor as well. This is what they've wanted. This is the hard point game that really suits them. This back and forth action when it gets down to these really clutch situations, the Houston Spartans seem to thrive. Chris now throwing his body into the point, only amounting to one second of contested time before he gets taken down. And the Houston Spartans take that lead back, but only for just a second as we head back to second set of rotations. This is what we expected to see back on Terminal, a very close match that did not go that way whatsoever, but Teddy oh. dropping those up, oh, and he clipped the side of the wall, stealing his own kill away from himself as he makes a mistake. Ooh, and now Kamwa flying in, getting one there. Still 47 seconds left to work with. Chris gonna fly in and find one as well. He's gonna find two. Maybe the turnaround onto the third, but not gonna happen as now Perez trying to tie up for this top AC side. It's back and forth. It's Bixi and it's disgusting right now here inside the blender that is P1. And that topside control could have been great, but Exotic refuses to go down, and that story continues to be absolutely true. He does not care if he's in the middle of the fray. You're going down before he does. Absolutely. The Houston Spartans now starting to let the lead slip away from him a little bit. Fourth Space Esports starting to lock it down, but they've got to find this rotation here onto P2. Houston in a very good position if they're able to win these rotational gunfights. Lock down some uncontested hill time. Kamwa from the backside here. Maybe a sound cue going to pop for him, but no. Kamwa going to be able to find the kill. Two dead in the feed for Houston. They've locked this hill down. They've hit this rotation early. This is what they have played for. It's time to find out if you can indeed get yourself a table at the cafe. And right now it's looking like one of them just opened up. A seat is now available for Exotic. Maybe he can get two. He's not going to get that one, but they know where he's positioned. And now they get another trade off. And it is only you left. And that was not what you wanted to see as everybody converged in on the point. Everybody is well. Teddy Rex, the only one left standing after those crazy gunfights there. 154 to 132. Still blue right now in the kill feed. Still blue in the time. Shots coming in from Perez. Not going to land, though. That lead is continuing to be built as Chris from around the back finds one there. Trying to hit this rotation now onto P3. P3 was one, though. The Houston Spartans were able to fight their way back into the game a little bit. They were able to find their first lead at this hill. Let's see if they can do it once again. Now down over 40 points. I was waiting to see that happen to you. If you saw on the last feed, Conwell was up on top of them, but nobody noticed. And once the shots went off, he was able to get two. Even if it was in a trade, he still navigated that. And he had a perfect lineup, but a special guest appearance showing up to play, part <laughs> play party pooper, really. Trying to play spoiler here. That's exactly what 4th Space Esports is trying to do. Play spoiler to this incredible Houston Spartans run. They haven't dropped a series all weekend long throughout pool play and throughout Saturday bracket play. Now heading into this one, trying to find a way to knock down the Spartans, trying to give them a taste of their own medicine. They have locked down this hill. They are doing well at one of the gunfights around, but Kamwa through the backside may be able to find one here. Trying to peek this door. Shot it's in. Not going to check the right corner, and Exotic will find the kill. 200 point threshold being crossed. And oh my goodness, a second best of five is beckoning. It's definitely feeling like we could be heading along that way as that timer continues to go in their direction. Only seven seconds left here to build on some points. The Houston Spartans making the smart move to get over there. Look, it may be expensive to be in this building, but right now everything's looking good for them. They have positional control. They have three bodies in the way. And of course, you can take a look in the back there. Choco covering over by the bridge. Top side to see who wants to make their way through. 
trying to find a way in, but just nothing going for him right now. Rami does find one on the Chaco, like you said, but Rep's gonna immediately trade that one back. Exotic and company from the backside, but able to find two. Perez in, finds one, finds two. Gotta spin around on the third, but just can't find all the kills. for Space Esports, though. That's Rambi with two. Maybe now another one. Gonna get stunned, gonna get taken down. Rambi finds three. Now the push on in, but Kamala gets sat down. It's 223 and counting. They can win it right here. Everybody's continuing to fight for this Ooh. point. You want to make sure that this is not going to go their way. They have only 19 seconds, so it's not going to be yeah, enough to finish it as the contest has come in. But what a great stop. It gives them at least one more shot on this pivot to be able to make it happen. And they need to make sure that they do not let Fourth Space get in there. No, not at all, Fourth Space. You basically only need just a little bit of hill time left. You can be mixy. You can be dirty with it. Houston, you've got to be perfect. You've got to be clinical here. They've locked down this hill, but only for the time being. Brand new hill just now popped. Here comes the push in from the boys in blue. One gets sat down there. Perez is going to be able to pick up two on the Exotic and Rambi, and now it's getting a little mixy as the Houston Spartans start to fight their way back into this one. Right now, it is in the fourth space. Esports were on top, but the Houston Spartans, they are just not letting that continue that way. They're starting to build it back up. How many times over today have we seen people with a 200-plus point lead, one point away from potentially winning it all, and then they bring it all the way back? The Spartans getting a lot of free time here right now, and they have not been checked yet as they're going to finally pass that 200 mark. Yeah, with 18 seconds left to go, they can get this lead right to about under 10 seconds, and that means that it'll all have to be done for both of these teams on a mixy and dirty P1 here on Karachi. And I mean, 227 to 213, it cannot be closer. This is a big position for Chaco if he can get here and get some kills. Finds one. That's another kill from Rep in the backside. That's going to open up this point, but only for a second because of the hill pressure being applied. Right now, Teddy is down underneath, but Teddy is going to get Ooh. cooked by Choco, who had the top side. This is working out perfectly no for way. them. They have the top. They might be able to make this happen. Look at all the bodies are falling. They have to make a power play right now. They all got cleared out. Everybody in prime position for one final hole. Yeah, it's just one hold to board them all, 233 and counting. The push is coming in, but it's only one more push to be had. Chaco on a 5-3, Kamala just playing the snakes. It's Chaco from the top side who finds everyone. One more push before Space Esports may be able to come in. Off the top rope goes Rep. Three more seconds. The comeback happens again. Houston Spartans force game five. Every single time we've thought someone was down and out, they get the job done. As you see, Chris slam that bottle back down onto the stage, getting amped up and feeling good. Everybody on Houston's side is feeling happy about that. Conwa with the final kill to close it out. But man, they needed to clutch it. This was their map pick. They were they, and they got the job done. And now it's time to visit the map one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt, how can they top the other sets? Well, it looks like we might maybe be seeing a round of 11 final shot to see if we see a reset or if we see Houston take it all right now. I, I cannot believe how this has gone down. I mean, every single time we think that somebody has a hold, somebody's finally going to prove themselves among the best. The other team just turns around, flips it on its head, and again, Houston being down almost 100 points, just playing picture-perfect COD, making it mixy, doing what they had to do to find the map and force us one more map in this first best of five. <sighs> <laughs> what an incredible show we've been getting no matter what if this is the final map what an insane job to get here but we both know that there's no shot that this is won easily fourth space esports have been able to win time and time again on hard point but they finally get figured out and even in a close match there that came down to the wire it was choco and company who clutched it out prime position they made sure they couldn't get through and now it might be done for you you only got one more potential shot to try and take an l and it's at that point where everybody had to go run and take a quick break so we're gonna take one more break as we head into the fit map here for grand finals pre-reset all right, everybody, it's time for game number five. We have made our way over to the potential final bout here on Karachi. Are we going to see 
the reset from fourth space esports making their way back into that number one seed trying to take it all home or matt are we gonna see houston trying to take it all as we see a one-to-one -one trade coming between both parties and already early action starting out ajax said one for one trade here leaves us into a 3v3 with just under a minute left to go Fourth space trying to get that bomb planted. They're going to be able to find the first one onto Perez. Now that bomb able to go down. Reps in trouble as well. Not the round start that Houston wanted. They're able to get the bomb planted essentially for free over there. They already have cafe positioning. And you can see as well over in the back line by Bridge. They are paying close attention to Exotic. Who doesn't give a damn if they're looking his way? He's always ready to play. That time though his back was facing Choco. Now the 1v2. And it Tough position to be in as well with only 21 seconds left to find this defusal. Needs the time in his favor and it's just not there. You've got to be able to find both of these players. you got to be able to find them quick. A hop, a jump, and a skip. He's out the window. He's checking every corner, but there's just nothing there. Finally, shots landing in. Not enough time to defuse the bomb. And that'll be fourth space esports with their first round on the board trying to force this bracket reset. Looking to see if he could get another kill to pad into the numbers, help him out there and to get into the further rounds. You want to still try and snag those when you can, because that will help you get those kill streaks early on. But that's not what's going to happen as Teddy shuts it down. It's the point on the board in a perfect position that they could ask for. Yeah, absolutely. Map one, rather round one, goes the way of fourth space esports. And now still trying to force would be a second best of five between these two teams already five maps being played here as houston with the bomb in hand here looking to maybe make a quick play towards this b site sure looks like it they're rushing recklessly if you will over to be all together so they're gonna get piled up and get a lot of data out of that stun teddy already putting himself in position dropping over the grenade he's got to back himself off but he ends up getting one of them in the midst of the smoke and he's gonna get two at that as well Oh, Teddy with a beautiful two-piece to open things up here in the round. Ooh, is that a stun kill out of Reprosity? It right was. There? It was. He was low enough health that the <laughs> stun kill actually ends up getting the kill onto Teddy. Not the way you expected that to go. At least that'll help him a lot, out a little bit. Now that it's two to three. Yeah, an anticlimactic end to the two-piece there for Teddy. As Rep now going to be playing over this top AC side, trying to see if he can find one lack in here. There's nothing going. Like you talked News. about earlier, the Taco Bell ding sound playing off of the distance <laughs> off of that one. But this is a very scary spot to try and close this out. The bomb is directly behind B. Therefore, you can't take the fight. You have to take the fight to them. You have to try and get them. That's one already down. That bomb, like you said, though, still out in no man's land right now in this 2v2. Reprocities has got to find one of these players. Not going to be able to do so. All left on to Choco. Choco able to find that one. And now even things up into a 1v1. But look at Rambi. He is in. He is out of there. Got to find this bomb. Got to plan it. You got to go now. Does he have time? I think he might have had time. I think Ooh, but he the might shots have been are good. For Space Esports able to take that round 2-0 up. And now the pressure mounting on Houston. The immediate reposition from Rambi after he got figured out over by the end of the street, ran all the way around the building and knew all he had to do was put eyes on the bomb site. And he was able to do that catching the final peak. But you're right, that got down very close to almost getting the plant in there. Um, able to, though, as Houston now goes down 0-2. Got to find a way to put a round on the board here. You go down 3-0, it's going to be a tall mountain to climb. We do see fourth space esports on the side offense bomb in hand looking to also make maybe a quick play towards this b side at least try to get a little bit of map control early one of the things that fourth space has been really good at every single time is they start off with the lead and they usually start off pretty confidently with the lead the biggest thing Ooh. right now is getting a clear of house that's one we might be able to get two note chris paying attention caught con on his way over actually excuse me he got some help from ramby in the back line to allow him to get away from that yeah, that bomb does get planted, though, but it's two big kills there from Perez and Rep that leave it all on to Teddy in the 1v3. Finds the first one, now a hop, a jump, and a skip, trying to find the second. Not sure if he knows that they're going to already be defusing this bomb. Doesn't matter anyway. Rep will get the kill off the top rope, and Houston find a round on the board and a much-needed one at that. You can see all of the big uh, sighs of relief, the deep breaths being taken there from everybody as we go into the next round, but... Man, we said it before, so say it again. Houston finds ways to make things happen if they're, even after they've been put in a really weird position going down two, um, two points in a row. That's only two points. There's still plenty of time to make a comeback. Yeah, still plenty of time. Very early in this SMD map. 
Map number five. What could be the last map? Possible best of five coming up after this as well if Fourth Space Esports is able to lock this one in and force that bracket reset. We said potentially the final one of the day. But will we have more time to play? It all depends on what they are able to do about it at the moment. Everybody converging partially over the beat. I think they did that as a bait, actually, because you can see, take a look over on the right, Conwell all by himself looking maybe to see him make a move forward. He is backed up a little bit. Nothing so far. It's just been a slow push from all of these teammates along the map. Everybody trying to be quiet. We're hunting wabbits. As now here comes the first chow. Chris versus Kanwa. This could be the mat. Opens it all up. Kanwa. Little knock on the door and he's out. Kanwa just throwing a, a, a little bit of potentially I am here. Joko not going to go through the door, but I think Kanwa going on the other side. They tried to play him and they actually do. That was so well executed. Kanwa knowing that he might be there. Joko baiting him with the door and then they end up getting him regardless. Oh, but it's a couple of kills that go either way, but it all leaves Exotic in the 1v3. Not the position he wants to be in. Trying to find shots on the first. Not gonna happen. And oh, Ooh. the talk Ooh. coming from Choco. We are getting excited. Banging on the glass. Letting them know we're here to stand on business. Oh, I am so here for that. Man stood up and said, y'all see this? I don't think you did. You can't because the eyes are in the back of your head as we blew them out, man. He is feeling good. They're getting the team amped up. And what we see right now, Matt, is that score is purely even. Yeah, absolutely knotted up at two apiece in the Houston Spartans. Able to find two rounds on the board now. Knotting things up, as you said. In this do or die map five for fourth space esports they win another bracket we go again one more best of five they lose houston spartans are champions if spartans have anything to say about it the way that went last time they are definitely Holy. making sure that does not happen as we get that full shot from down far dropping the mahomes on him if you will with that clean shot and now all of a sudden everybody taking a close look at that bomb that is in nobody's hands mahomes or brady which one are we going with there? Okay, so for the longest time, we always called it the Brett Favre, but we've gone past that point. I don't even like Kansas City because they beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl, but credit <laughs> where credit's due, Mahomes is hip. <laughs> that is for true. So now the Houston Spartans still up a player right now and trying to just hold off this push as now that bomb plant may be able to come through. The shot's over from the top, and it's another nade kill. The utility from the Houston Spartans has been absolutely stellar. But this player from Teddy Rex could absolutely throw this whole round off, but not going to happen through their rep. Reads that like a book, and now you know that bomb has to be planted soon. The first shots on Perez are good. Here comes the second. They find one. That's a huge kill from rep. Now shot from every angle Teddy Rex not going to be able to get out of there, and it's three straight rounds in a that, row. That drop down to lay on the floor, essentially a forfeit, like you said. You, every single angle covered, there was no escape. Teddy getting caught right as he laid down. Rep was over on the other side, too, and you saw one more down the street. Sure looking like... Houston woke up where they needed it the most, and they have taken the lead, and they are not trying to see that reset happen at all. I mean, and one of the big parts of that is the fact that Teddy has seven kills, the rest of his team sporting just five right now. You gotta find some help from the other players for fourth space here, as it's a quick play from Teddy Rex, trying to push up to this bomb site early. He may run into some trouble. He'll get in and out of there. Good positioning from him. This may be a spot that they don't check. Well, you need Chris to pick it up because right now he's 0-5, but he's about to be 6 feet under if he keeps the way they're going right now. That is not the 0-6, 0 bomb, a goose egg. You need to do something to contribute. Exotic doing his best right now. The clutch factor normally of this team has not been able to get much done either. Kanwa just crawling his way along the floor here, trying to find an opening kill. 50 seconds left now to get this bomb planted for the side of the Spartans. Pressure starting to become a factor. Very scary position here. Teddy is going to find first blood, though. Everybody hanging out on the ground. Nobody trying to move too early. Give up their positions. They were able to sneak one on rep. We're going to see a potential cure here from Perez, though. He catches them slipping, and there's another one to even it up. 
But Exotic on the other side of the map finds Kanwa and now leaves Perez and Choco in the 2v3. Not the position that they want to be in, especially with that bomb down. A play from him, Perez in. Not going to be able to find anything there. Now the push through, but the beautiful reach out comes through anyway from Exotic. And now Choco, the last alive into a 1v3. No time to plant the bomb. No time to do anything here as we will go ahead I, I don't know what's happening here, but Choco <laughs> now tries that last one. He will go on the five spree. That is something to note. Even though they don't get away with that round, able to play streaks in that position could prove to be something to look for later in this match if he's able to get this cruise missile here in the next round. We talked about it earlier. Even when the match is forfeit, you have a potential to get some resources that will help you if he can get that. Even if no kill happens, you have a free round of data. You all have to be worried about the potential of Cruise Missile coming through. And right now, they need to get some of that going. We are at 3-3 three to three here in this map. And once again, I know we've joked about it before, but it sure as hell looks like we're going to a potential final round. And right now, it's looking really good as Rep getting a lot of shots in. Yeah, and then Nade, not as well as it did the last time he threw it. A couple of shots out. Ooh, finds the hit markers, but no more than that. Choco tries to make a huge aggressive play, but it gets shut down early. Now the Nade's in. Beat to death from Teddy Rex. Another kill comes from Chris. All on to Rep. He'll be able to rip one off of a Heady, but no more than that. And fourth space esports finds their fourth round on the board. All right. Well, here we go. This is going to... This is looking kind of crazy right now. We are looking at yet another potential shot to try and get them that much closer to the reset. Houston has been able to stop that from happening quite a few times over these previous matches. But they've got to be feeling good. We saw it before. They got up and they talked good game. They are currently behind one. They can bring this back to even right now. But you do not want to be staring down that 5-3. to three. No, you don't. I mean, but we've already seen the Spartans in one 5-3 implement the 5-3 curse they might need to do it again depending on how this round goes but you'd like to knock things up at four piece here rep immediately busting through this play trying to make the aggression trying to find this early pick for his team that'll be perez that finds one onto chris that opens the round up for them here gives him the man advantage smoke is down moving pretty soon Ramby going around the other side to take a peek but he's got two people staring him down over the side Nothing amount and the bomb goes down. You're also down a player. This is a perfect position for the Houston Spartans. It is their round to lose, but this play from Exotic could prove dangerous. Not gonna happen. He was on the deadie and he was ready to get Mixie, but nothing's gonna happen. But two kills do come the way back. And now hey. into a 2v2. Things start to get very, very Mixie. A little bit of a shoulder peek. Choco able to find some info on him in the beginning, but no more than that. Here comes Teddy trying to make sure that he cashes in on the info, but oh. instead he gets caught himself. It's all on Rambi to try and make this happen, but that's 15 seconds like on the, uh, left on the clock. He's got two. He's got to take down. That's one. He would need to get rid of this immediately, and that will not happen as we see them close it out. And they do indeed not us up at four apiece here in a do-or-die map five again. If you're just now joining us, Houston Spartans making their way to the grand finals from the winner's side. If they win this map, they will be your grand champions. And if not, we will be seeing another best of five between 4th Space Esports and the Houston Spartans. I can't believe we are here in this spot once again. Like, it's just been insane watching oh everybody God. make this happen every time. <laughs> right now, this is the crucial game. Winner of this goes up 5-4 and puts the pressure on to make sure that Ooh. you're dominant. Right now, we have great coverage of B, but it looks like they chose to head over towards A, and that's exactly where they're going to commit to. Yeah, and that's a big stun check there. Now you're going to have to try to fight your way out of this. Teddy Rex going to be able to find the first blood with the nade. Bomb going down on the A site. You know, you press B, but they go A. You miss it out there. Now Kamwa trying to make the play here. He doesn't need to know. Look low, and oh, Rampy gets the kill from the floor. And now into a 2v4. The Spartans' back is against the wall. You could ever ask for clutch. This is where you need it the most. Unfortunately for Choco, he got figured out as he tried to jump over. There's no escape where you're going to get away from that position. One to three, Teddy all by himself with the bomb down. There's not really too much that's going to be happening from that point forward. And we are one individual game away from potentially seeing that reset unless Houston answers back one more time. Yeah, Houston needs two rounds in a row to avoid this bracket reset. Or the sides of 4th Space Esports, one more round. 
And they will find themselves in one more best of five for the $8,000 here at the Game Arena Cheetah Wunga Modern Warfare 3 kickoff event. It has been an amazing event so far. It could all be over in just a few minutes, or we could see some more thrilling COD action. Might be that. I think the way things have planned out, we're probably getting strapped in and ready for yet another set. <laughs> the, way, the way our night has gone, but at the moment, it's not about us, it's about them. It's currently being escorted over onto A, Purez, and Conwa, considering where they want to go. They're trying to get a peek over right now. They do not want to deal with Chris, who's looking directly their direction. We do see one fall immediately. That's going to be Conwa. Yeah, and already Houston feeling the pressure of being a man down, trying to find somewhere to go with this bomb, but it's just players waiting at every angle for you. Perez just trying to see if he can get a blood to even things back up, but right now not looking like the position they want to be in. Shots do come in. Now Perez slides in on the bomb site, eats a nade, going to be able to get this bomb plant down. Worked out, so they're able to get position at least, but are they able to finish the job? Like you said before, they are not a man, but they do have bomb plant, uh, the bomb planted, so it's now on fourth Ooh. space to make a move, and Rep gets one pick. There you go. That's going to make things much better for them as they try to get this point. Absolutely. Now the retake is on. It's going to be a difficult one. Ooh, Choco with beautiful trigger discipline there. That's the call out onto him, but oh no, gets taken down for the backside. He's positioned. Now useless. Now all onto Rep. Gotta be able to find this kill. The shots are in, but Exotic going to get away with it. The defuse comes in, and it's fourth space esports that send us to another best of five to decide who's going to be walking home your grand champions. And ah, uh, here we go again. Teddy was up, ready to go, popped off and let them know this is our time. Everything was looking good for a second. And we take a look back at the, oh my God, caught him on his way down to Choco had a great spot, decided not to pull the trigger in order to give away his position, figured he could get a free one when everybody committed. Instead, he actually gets clipped for it because they checked the position along with them. And that ends up leading to a game of 5w for fourth space esports and for anybody who's unaware that means that we now have a bracket reset it is in full effect here back and forth we went trading maps the whole way through but it is fourth space esports that gets that 3-2 victory here in our first best of five but ladies and gentlemen do not go anywhere because after this break, we will be running it right back up with a new, fresh, best of five, new maps, new map vetoes, all getting into it. So don't go anywhere. Grab your snacks, grab your water, and we come back. We got one more best of five coming up for you guys. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in one more time to the Game Arena X Cheetah Wunga Modern Warfare 3 Kickoff Classic. $8,000 on the line in Ajax. It has been a very, very long weekend. We've put almost nine hours in the booth just today, and we have all come down to this one last series. $8,000, the Houston Spartans and Fourth Space Esports. Battle it up one more time. Back at 11 this morning to eight teams came to play, but only two of them are here left. And right now it is a reset in favor of fourth space esports getting the W over Houston Spartans, which makes it back to that one versus two seed even counts. We're going to be starting things off here on sub base for hardpoint. We've seen it many times over sub base is the chaotic mess that can be a really quick start for one team. And most of hardpoint has gone in favor of fourth space. We're getting right into it. Grand finals reset. This is the last set we will see of the night. Absolutely, and here we go. All starting it off on sub base and Ramby already playing parkour simulator, doing a couple of jumps and hops there. But it's gonna be two kills in the feed early for the Houston Spartans as they open this hard point up. It's time to see if they could go ahead and catch that first point early and often. Houston Spartans weren't really consistent at that. We're gonna get two of them right off the rip. So Ramby, exotic falling. We're gonna see a trade off here. Oh my god, Conwa is feeling some type of way about these early starts, and he gets three to go. Yeah, three in the feed, sends them packing, and now Houston with a little bit of a lead, 17 to four, but we all know on this sub base, it's all about rotating over towards that P2. And even in that P2, Ajax, we've talked about it, no hill is safe. Not at all, especially when Chris is in there. Chris Radio was the biggest problem that they had to deal with in that prior set. But right now, three of them falling. Easy clap and easy positioning once again for, four, uh, for Houston Spartans as they already get over to point B. 
and then you P2. We're in a different mode. I am losing my mind. <laughs> it has been a long day in the booth. It's been a long day for these players as well, all amounting to this as the Houston Spartans locking this one in early, but it's a couple kills there coming the way of Force Force Esports as they base their way on in combo, though. Flying back with one of his own, make it two for him now, maybe even having to find the third here. A jump, a hop, and a skip. Absolutely. Three in the feed, and it's all combo. Conwell looking very similar to what Chris was pulling off before, but that does finally get shut down. They get that quick reload in so he can rejoin the fight. Rambi catches, but the trade-offs are coming in everywhere, and there's Chris once again looking so clean here on P2. Absolutely squeaky clean. Call him Mr. Clean without the bald head, of course, as we're flying on in to P3. A quick... <laughs> <laughs> but she, he's sure shining like a diamond, much like the, oh, <laughs> a nice reflection no. off of that head. But oh. it's, it's all about holding that gold at the end of the day. They want to host that trophy up. They want that gold medal position. And Fourth Space Esports doing an incredible job of doing that so far in the reset. But this is a clean slate here, Matt. It's all about getting this final set win. And that's going to definitely help as Choco gets a pickoff, assisted there by Rep. Yeah, absolutely, and it's what the Houston Spartans are going to need to look for here. It was a tough series last time. You took it all the way to a Game 5, and now you got to make sure you lock it in here. You don't want to let the bracket reset slip away from you. You're going to have to use that winner's finals advantage to your advantage. And now, Houston Spartans locking this hill down. Teddy, last man up, will be able to find the kills, but Choco takes him out. Rambi with a trade, and it's still red in the kill feed. And Pires in a very a similar position he's very used to. Everybody on his team falling, but he holds down the point anyways. How many times today have we seen him, specifically here on sub base, be over there on P3 and just refuse to let that position go away? Yeah, absolutely. 73 seconds already amounted for the Houston Spartans as they look to close in on the 100-point threshold already through four. Trophy systems down, Reprosity on the hill, a couple of trades go either way, but for the time being... Houston Spartans are absolutely in full control. It's all out wartime in a second as we are sitting in the center of the tunnel, but everybody fell before they could even make their. Chris is going to win out on that war against Choco. Teddy over there as well, right in the back line. Let's see if they can start to build back some of these points. Yeah, they're trying to right now, and they're doing a good job of it. 36 seconds still left to work with on the sale, but we know how mixy it can be, especially in this tunnel P4. Choco already going to be working up, finding a kill there for Rez. Now the second man in, going to be taken down. It's a two-for-two two trade. Chris finds the third, maybe the another one, but Rep will end up on top of the trade battles there and hold the rest of this down for the Houston Spartans, barring another push here as they throw them bodies right back into the hill. Great job from 4th Space, keeping themselves calm too because Choco revealed himself to be behind them and they did not budge. They knew there were two on their way from the front. They still got the job done. Starting to bring this points all the way back up, getting a solid 64 out of that compared to the lead they had before. But now it's time to rotate back over. Uncomfortable spot all the way through as we are basically spending this entire time here from here. Converting back over to P1 after. It's going to be an all-out battle. Everybody throwing hands. Yeah, absolutely. Just squaring up here on sub base. Houston's going to dip their toe in for just a second, try to get a little bit more of hill time here. But one right back in. Teddy and Exotic going to be able to find two in the feed. Another one on to Perez and another one on to Choco. That'll be four dead in the feed. Uh, Matt, they have been able to execute very well over these last two points. That lead is starting to disappear away from the Spartans. Here's Pure trying to make a play. He gets a peek and he has to look up to it. Because of that, he gave everything away. Exotic catching in and cashing out. Absolutely. Now, closing in on a lead change as we hit the second set of rotations here. Ajax almost split even down the middle as we make our way across the street back. On to P1, the Houston Spartans trying to fight their way back into another lead change here. But Exotic with a good position from the back. Oh, he's just chasing, but maybe chase for too long. Plays with his food, ends up getting taken down. It's the Houston Spartans that are in this hill, locking it down. Here's the lead change now, and now Houston Spartans right back on top. A few times we've seen that throughout the day today where they were able to close even in on the chase. But not surprised at all that this is still a close set. Gets up at the right time and Purez ends up winning out on what seemed like a bad spot because Rep sneaks in to help him out there. We're going to see a smack to the face coming from Exotic. Ready to throw those hands we talked about earlier. Now 119 to 103 and counting though for fourth space. Trying to lock in some of the much needed hill time. As, I mean, Ajax, it's back and forth. It's back and forth. No one seemingly able to get a hold on this map just yet. Houston's trying to look to do that with an early rotation here on to P2. It's a couple of kills that go either way, though. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Almost going to be the last man up. Rez takes one, takes two. It's the nade kill as well. How you like that? 
This is definitely feeling very happy about that if you're a Spartans as this is the, again, another time where they're able to get themselves in line for P2 very quickly. This is where things can shift. Everything about P2 to P3 has been dominant in one-sided favor every time we've seen it happen, and that is a clean call for Purez. Able to get that one. He might get another pick at the door, but he's not going to end up winning out there. Nah, the stun just doing a little too much damage there for him to be able to turn on so now vacant hill time for a second as both of these teams fighting for control back and forth we go comma goes down there another couple of trades come in it's two dead in the feed though to make it three perez tries to find one but he'll be the fourth man down a close spawn though for the houston spartans may allow them to hit this one more time everybody contributing across all sides of the board too you see all of the kds climbing up as we go teddy sporting one of the better ones but it's all about the points and those points have gone exactly even just the same way we saw that teddy gets his way through con was gonna pick Ooh. off teddy at the top though yeah, now steals the lead right back for the Houston Spartans, 133 to 131. Another kill there on P2 to try to lock down this quick, quick rotation on over. But the rooftop plays from the side of Force Space Esports starting to become a factor. Exotic and Teddy both find two there. They're trying to push up. Sounds like a cruise missile incoming. Trophy down for rep. Wants to make sure that he's protected. But here it comes. No damage done. It's two dead in the feed still for the Houston Spartans. At least they know where everybody's lined up and Pure is catching one on the top side. Now this is a prime position for Spartans to start to build on what is not a big lead at all, but instead, everybody getting checked. I didn't get in check right now. 134 to 131. No one has touched the hill in about 30 seconds, Ajax. This is absolute pandemonium. Finally, the Houston Spartans able to dip their toe in, trying to garner a little bit more hill time. But so far, nothing is happening for either of these teams. It does look like fourth space able to muster their way on in, but still not able to get a lead. Yeah, not too much happening here on P3, so everybody's starting to make their way back over to the tunnel now. It's time to start getting lined up and getting ready, but there is a Rambi who's hanging out over on the side. He's going to catch Conwa slipping for that, but they also answer back on Rambi, so it's a one-for-one -one trade. Absolutely, 145 to 136, back and forth we go. And if you look up at that game clock, 155 could start to become a factor if we see too many more hills like P3. Let's see how many times have we seen it where these matches have gotten so close. We almost had a timeout. We had a timeout. Everything has been down to the wire here. The tunnel could be a big position where things can change up. We're going to see one drop for Perez. We're going to see another one fall. Teddy has got the lineup. Though. He's going to get caught by Rep. It is now their turn to go ahead and control the middle. Or dead clean in the feed for the Spartans as they fight for this lead once again. Rambi trying to do something here. Finds one. It's two there for Rambi. Oh my god. Rambi absolutely sits him down. Reads him a bedtime story. Three piece there. 162 to 155. Continuing to climb. War Space Esports. It's a tight contested game. But so far trying to look like they're in the lead. Somewhere off in the distance, it's feeling like Halloween because we're seeing a whole lot of headless horsemen on this stage. Everybody getting them ripped clean off. And Chris is starting to pick up exactly where they don't want it to be. He may be even on count, but once Chris gets going here on sub base, things get rough fast as they now have a very important building lead. We said before that timer is whittling down and quickly. Yeah, 140 on the timer. And right now, Force Space Esports right back in the hill locking it down extending that lead that they do so well 185 and counting closely coming up on that 200 point mark Perez, a little bit of trigger discipline here gonna be able to find one in the backside, but still not able to take the man off point it's been doing such a good job over there Perez just trying to find the nade kills he's gonna go ahead and slide on in teddy's gonna be able to find one it's ring around the rosie around the tank and exotic the man on the hill gets one most dangerous game of tag is the not one that you want to see. He's getting tagged up again there. Here comes Rep one more time to continue to play where they need it. But Rep going to catch him jump through the window. This is an opportunity for the, uh, for the Spartans to, very similar to pretty much every other match, start to build the lead back up. We already saw it once. Can they do it again? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a big comeback that they're going to need here if they want to win this one, especially on a map like Subbase. But right now, locking down this hill time as the trades do come through. Rep in the backside may be able to find this push. That's a big kill from him. Trophy system goes down for his teammate. A couple more kills come through. It's one from Rambi here. But look at the clock. It's starting still. 190 to 209. Finally contested hill time as that 130 starts to tick down ever so slightly. You can't afford to be letting any of that time go to waste. You want to build up that score while you can. This is a... Big position right now. 
for fourth space esports they have four bodies in the way they're covering every route you see the win go in favor for teddy over on the side everybody started to get dropped repped all by himself and he could not finish the job they're walking away with 220 plus one more point here on p2 and this could be the end of map one yeah, it absolutely could, as Choco's just going to try to look to maybe make a late hit with his friends here, but they're getting beamed down, but no, Choco will find the kill there, 224 to 191. Still counting, though, for Force Space Esports as they try to get this up to that 250 mark. Houston, got to find a way to break here. It's trades in the kill feed. Choco goes around the 180, finds one, the second one picked up, and it's four dead in the feed. Houston, right back in the hill, ready to lock this one down. Big fight time incoming. Choco's going to get clipped. We're going to go ahead and take out the trophy system and start to lay things down. We see them all covering the top, trying to make their way through here. They can't really let this ride for too much longer. Martin's trying to build on the lead. We're going to see Choco come back in, though, and get the save where he wants it. Rampy's going to get caught on the back of his foot, too. It looks like a clear house for the red team. Is they're going to also maybe get Exotic. Exotic jumping down. He's going to get away only for a moment as Rep comes through. The fight still keeps on going. And it still goes on as well as Force Space Esports lead. 240 mark being hit now. They have exactly enough time to be able to do this, but it's got to be the hit from the side of Houston. They fly on in. They're able to find the kill and stop the time right before it gets to that 250 mark. Five seconds away. 245 to 210. Back and forth we go. And now here come the kills. But four dead clean in the feed. And that will be it. 250 to 205. And you see Teddy talking standing on business right now fourth space perfect. esports lock map one in perfect freeze frame there on teddy as well and that right there was pretty much one of the wins out of the sales moments chris had it lined up you can't afford to lose that team fight there you have to get on the point you have to stop the timer you have to make it so they don't collect those last few points but because they were already positioned they only needed seven left there's not much you could do other than play perfect from that point forward, and it's going to be once again fourth space winning out on the first map hardpoint. And now heading into Invasion S and D. This is a map fourth space esports has won a few times throughout this weekend. It is Houston's map pick, though. I mean, tell me what you like here as the Spartans really are trying to battle back and avoid going down 0-2 in the series. Well, one thing's for certain, they have been playing phenomenally on search. They have not been struggling in that, but they also had that on different locations. We were on uh, we were on uh, Terminal prior, and they've also been clutching it out very well on high rise, but there's no high rise to be found here. The high uh, That is not going to be a pick. We're going to be seeing the wide open invasion. I still think they're going to be feeling good, though, because of the fact that they had the prior wins. There's something very heavily looming over their heads, though. They were already reset. This isn't a first case scenario here, Matt. They are in a, pos a spot where they have had to make this same decision just a little while ago. <laughs> They're already behind here. Yeah, already behind once again. And we saw in that first best of five, it goes all the way to a map five. And, you know, fourth space esports able to get it done in the 6 4 fashion and now heading into an invasion search and destroy. I do feel like it may favor them a little bit here. I feel like. The way they're playing right now and the way they're hitting their rotational gunfights here, especially on a map like Invasion where we know how rotational heavy it can be, just even in S&D, not just Hardpoint, making over towards the A site either or the B site, making those quick and decisive decisions can make or break the game. And I do think that Force Space Esports maybe leans in their favor a little bit. I think so. If you're a fan of FSE, you're feeling fan fantastic right now as they continue to drop only w's on the board this time we said it before it was a game five but something that can happen quite a quite a bit is after a very close game five set that takes a lot out of you there's a lot of stamina that needs to be had and the other team is running hot and that has continued to play out exactly the same way here they got the first point on the board or space esports looking exactly like we expect to see with that number one overall seed maybe they go up here 2-0 and if they go up 2-0 at that point i don't know how you start to make that climb back after how good they've been on hard point there in map three i mean absolutely and especially on a map that we've already seen them be successful on in terminal this invasion map two s and d is really the make or break moment for houston spartans they don't win this map they might as well kiss their tournament hopes goodbye heading into this one You've got to look to Houston to make the plays necessary to bring this series back, tie us up at one apiece, heading into another hard point. Because as you've said, it's just been success after success in the hard point game mode for the side of fourth space. 
Let's see if they can find success and continue that streak of good luck and good fortune and great skill communication. All the above, everything looking clean for Four Space Esports. It's time, though, for the Houston Spartans to try and answer back. Let's we'll see if they can do exactly that as our first target seems to be over at B. Already that bomb, like you said, making its way towards the B site. It's a slow push, though. No one over challenging, over extending just yet. Neither of these players want to be the first blood of this map, but Rep's going to go ahead and find it onto Rambi, and that will open things up for the Spartans here in map two. Feeling good about that, getting the first pick. See if they can make something happen here. Most of them are pre-positioned over at A, so B seems to still be the play here. Everybody thinking about it. Teddy, of course, has been putting a lot of that position on his back, and actually, never mind, they're going to make a full position. Looks like it's throw over the stun to try and get some data. And now they're going to make it over here, and he's going to get spotted immediately. The bomb is down, and Choco gets not one, but two. And now all left on to Chris in the 1v4. A tough, tough position, but he finds one with the sniper there. Not any more than that. Houston Spartans going to lock in that first round and take a 1-0 lead in map two. One of the most difficult spots about that is not just having to make the 1v4 comeback, but also having to do it with a sniper. You need to pick up somebody's weapon in hand. Problem is, the only weapons to be found are your teammates that are lying on the floor. So let's see if they can make some adjustments to get past that, because that was another phenomenal round. And that's exactly how it started last time on Search 2. Yeah, it, it is in the Houston Spartans as well. I mean, the good thing for them, though, is... A lot of times in these rounds, they're going down early, especially in that map five that we just witnessed going down 0-2, trying to bring it back from there. It's a good start for them. They want to get started on the front foot rather than playing on the back the entire game. And that's exactly what they've done here is they look to make the quick play now over towards the B site. The bomb sneaking through this mid-cut area. Teddy Rex has got a really good position if he elects to use it. And now the push comes in, the bomb gets planted. Chris might have to back out now with that sniper. See what they do decide to commit to this. They got the bomb prepared and ready in hand. Or a piece on both sides. It's on fourth space to make the move though. Conwa covering over that side. He's going to look down that corner. Rep is in a firefight, but Teddy smartly backing off. Meanwhile, Exotic and Perez all trading off over the side. Teddy gets a drop there on Rep 2. Yeah, and it's just now that how will you play these trades? 2v1 now. Perez, the only man left alive for the side of the Spartans. Bomb Diffusal could decide to come in here, but, oh, at the toes there, not able to find anything. Perez is making it mixy. The defuse comes in. I think they were able to get it in time. It'll be just a second before it explodes, and there it is with 1.1 to go. A or true photo sports. finish at 1.1 seconds, and it looks like they are continuing to build on that one game lead they have before. It is only one to one. They got to be feeling pretty good answering right back after a pretty solid opener from the Spartans. Yeah, and we know how important this map is too, right? A big swing map. Difference between going down 2-0 in a bracket reset where you've already lost a best of five before, or do you tie things up one apiece, keep your tournament hopes somewhat alive here, have to see houston's got a long way to go it's definitely a difficult hill to climb but not one that is impossible to climb indeed we're one to one at the moment i know we've said it many times over tonight but i don't know it, it all depends on what type of pressure we see from spartans early do they capitalize on a big lead otherwise these one-to-one -one trade offs might lead us to yet another one of those round of 11s but that grenade is going to give them some data rep and a weird spot now with two of them starting to converge on his position but he gets one trade off Oh, and Rep able to find that first blood as well, but he gets traded, like you said, by the Nay Perez now trying to play around Kamwa as well. 3v3 situation, stun check on to Rambi there is good, but no information really used there. It's 50 seconds left to find a way to get this bomb planted for fourth space. All about the slow play right now, but the slow play can only last for so long as you have 40 seconds left to make a play and get that bomb planted. They get the bomb picked back up. It's now time to move. And here come the shots onto Choco. Good from Rambi, able to get Choco at least off the heady for now. Houston Spartans still have the man advantage in the round, and now the two man all left onto Rambi. He'll fly through the back, able to find one there, but only 24 seconds left to get this bomb picked up or get both of these players down. The picks might be pure oh. as he gets it right there. Does he also get Conwood? Yes, he oh does. Oh my god! god. Drop down, an incredible job. Look at that. Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all had a lot to say a little while ago. Y'all had a whole lot to say a little while ago, but Teddy having something to say about that right back. 
Ramby in the 1v3. That was a situation that you should not win. They funnel down the tunnel right into the gun barrel that is Ramby. And that is going to be a round that 4th Space Esports should not have on the board, but nonetheless, they do. 2-1 advantage now in this map to looking to go up 3-1. That has got to be a gut punch to the Spartans. It's one of those rounds where it may only happen usually once in a tournament, but the worst time for it to happen is here in Grand Finals Reset. Teddy getting the explosion over on the counter, though also getting the drop shot there onto Rep. That's two down already to start this round. Already as well, like you said, two down to start the round, and now Teddy just trying to make his way through the back and do a little bit more damage. Oh no, the team name from Exotic gonna take him out, and that's not what you want to see in the round. Evens things up a little bit for the Spartans, but they're still down a man and still gotta find a way to get this bomb planted. Exotic, he might have the drop on him here. Ooh, they're sneaking under him. The dead foot silence not gonna happen as they, they sneak walked. past clean away from him as now his attention has been brought over to the b side they're gonna get a free plant over on a because it is nobody is paying any attention to that part of this might end up coming back to cost him on that team kill that happened from exotic earlier it would have been a four to two instead it's three to two with a free plant and now exotic making his way through the backside, trying to check his corners trying to see where one of these players would be hiding He'll go right around that garage door side is he going to be able to spot him? I don't think so. Now just trying to move your way up. It's a 2v3. But only 21 seconds left to defuse this bomb. They The first one. That's a big kill there. Exotic looking for one more here. But it's Choco throwing the backside. Able to take him out. Now the bomb defusal has to come in. And it has to come in now. 11, 10, 9. You've got to hop the defuse. You've got to hop it now. He's not it. able to do so. And the bomb plant not able to come through. Fourth Space Esports wins the round in terms of kills, but Houston will get it on the board to a piece. Incredible job once again for keeping composed and the fact that they're able to walk away with that dub. Incredible job from Houston, sneaking their way on over to A, getting that plant where they needed it. And I know it bears repeating. Sometimes it's an accident. You can chuck it up, let it rock. But that team nade really changed the pace of the game there in that round. It absolutely did. I mean, they had the round in the bag. The team name comes through all of a sudden. You see the rotate come from the Spartans. They're able to lock it down, get the bomb planted, and steal the round away. Now hopping on board with Ramby and Force Space Esports as they do do a one-for-one -one trade right off the bat. Kamal finds the first blood, but no more than that. Nades and stuns overneath. It's a hold-up play, but look at this. The cruise missile coming in. This is where you needed it. Yeah, everybody run. Get inside, get indoors, and hide. We're gonna be able to find the one, maybe? No, it did not catch the mark that he was looking for, but doesn't matter. He's still got the bomb back up in Rambi's hand. Is it three for uh, three to three? Looking to maybe get that plant over on B. Trying to get that bomb down. Now the trophy system taken out as well. The H maybe come in on to Rambi here, but that bomb's going to get planted. Now it's a retake situation for the side of the Spartans. Choco, Rep, and Perez gotta figure out a way to get back into this site. Get this bomb defused. Find some of these opening picks. But right now, Rep running into nothing but gunfight, but he finds one. Choco finds the second. And now, 1v3 for Exotic. This should not happen again. Mr. Clutch himself, though. Mr. Exotic always making it happen, but that time will not be the case it is very very frightening seeing exotic on the other side of the search and destroy last man clutch situation they don't let him get yet another one here on the night for the spartans now taking a 3-2 lead here in this series or rather sorry in this map 3-2 seriously this one would be over Sure feels like it though it feels like they've played <laughs> seven different series throughout the way that this has gone but at the moment we're in that Grand Finals reset. Like we said, everything stress is at an all-time high as the Spartans put another one on the board. They're trying to even up the set count at one apiece. It'd be the same way it worked out in Grand Finals prior to the reset. And now fourth space in dire need of a round. You don't want to go down 4-2. Teddy lighting up here. A couple of early shots in onto the bomb, but nothing going for him just yet. No kills being opened. There's the nade onto Kamwa. That'll open up the round for Teddy Rex. Gets that first blood. Gets them a man advantage up. Now he can back up, play his life a little bit. Rep will pick that bomb right back up where he started. Still, be a minute left to get this bomb down. Perfect checkmate scenario he had on that too. There was nowhere he could hide from the bomb. 
Teddy's got eyes over on him, and he has eyes indeed for the target locked down. That's two of the kills going in Teddy's favor. Not looking too hot here for Spartan. Just the bomb is dead center in the middle, and look at where everybody is positioned. 2v4, Spartan's not in the greatest of positions. Perez does have the bomb in hand, though, so some semblance of a good sign for them here in this round, but still... 30 seconds left to go. You're trying to hop across rooftops here, and you're just spotting nothing right now. And at this point, it's all about just staring down the bomb points. You've got so much time to play with, and they have absolutely none left here in this round. A dominant one where nobody on the fourth space esports side got dropped. Got to be feeling good about that one going into the next round. It's Matt. All right. It's Matt. All right. It's three to three. <laughs> all right, Rambi, calm down. Calm down, young lad. We don't need to see all of that. The double kill through the bulldozer. Okay. Three apiece now as we head in. What would be round number seven? Not at it three apiece. Houston Spartans and Four Space Esports here in a bracket reset. $8,000 on the line. Four Space does have that one map advantage here. Winning that first hard point right now. They're locked in a tight one here in map two. I would imagine, imagine hands are shaking. You got to have ice cold, look, ice cold blood in your veins right now. Exotic almost catching Choco, but a little bit too far out of position to be able to sneak in that headshot. Choco trying to get him to make a bait, make a move. Meanwhile, Conwell coming in and cleaning house, almost getting two. Almost gets two, but doesn't. So it's a 3v3 in a 3 3 situation. Rambi is running up the stairs, not spotting anything yet, just trying to check. All of his angles, nothing so far. Maybe the nade over the top. That might be a good nade if he's able to land it, but the EOD working overtime there saves his life. And now Rambi gets shut down by Pred. Here we go. Three to two. Exotic and Chris have a very uncomfortable spot trying to get over to that bomb. It's uh, it's it's Choco just kind of staring it down to the route must be taken. It's time to make a move. They only have 23 seconds left on the clock. They have to get to the bomb. They do get one. They might be able to make an attempt at the play here, but they oh! have to make it happen fast. And that's going to be very helpful as they get two of them right off the bat. But he gets picked off. Now Rep playing ring around the rosy. He knows he just has to play his life. What a 1v2 out of Reprocities. Houston Spartans. Take a round off of fourth space and get a one round up advantage. 1v2 played to perfection there out of Reprocity. I don't think there's a world where we don't see this go five to five, waiting to see who walks away with it once again. Everybody has been so close. And it has been as back and forth as you could ask for, but it is now time for Fourth Space Esports to answer back the same way they've been able to do all day. But last time, they weren't able to finish that map two with the W. Absolutely, and it's it's just just like what it happened last time, right? It's it's almost like a repeat of last match, and if that's the case, we could be in for another spicy one here. Ajax is Fourth Space Esports trying to stop the push from the Houston Spartans. That'll do a lot there. Exotic finds that first blood. Kama takes a couple shots at his teammate. It's now just under a minute left to get that bomb down and already down a man. I'm to play a Houdiniac here and get the bomb and dis get the plant and disappear. See if they can maybe make it happen. A lot of people converging over on A, but as you take a look over there, Chris, not too far off from position, and also Teddy staring down A. It's all about this flank right now. You see Perez sneaking up slowly. All sneaky like in the background. If he gets a peek on Teddy's spot there and recognizes he's behind the sandbags, maybe it happens. Oh, beautiful trades there from Perez. Able to take out for the 1v1 trade, but now all left on to him in a 1v3 situation. The snakes are in, the shots are as well, but there is just no way he makes it out of this situation right now. Pinned down from both sides. Now the stun nade comes in. 15 seconds left. They know all he has to do is plant the bomb. They're just going to let the time run out, and it should be the round for 4th Space Esports. As that timer just ever so slowly clicks down, three, two, one, even finding a kill, not going to amount to much. Tied at four apiece. The pawns were all in position to get yet another queen. They had the checkmate perfectly set up and got some extra to boot. Oh, man, four to four. And we, again, no surprise whatsoever. Here, evening up this count once again here, just in map number two of the reset, 
I don't know how it's going to go, but right now, this one is going to mean a whole lot on who gets to have that advantage of being one away from taking it all here in map number two. Indeed. This has just been such a grueler of a match. They've already played five maps. Make it six, counting that first hard point. Back and forth we go as Reprosity will find that first blood. Exotic runs into the gunfire of Perez and now leaves things into a 2v4 situation. Sports Space Esports kind of pinned down right now as trying to find somewhere to get this bomb planted, trying to find a kill, trying to find anything, but all Randy they find is Ramby getting nailed to the floor. Teddy Rex might be the next one up on the chalking block. There it is, and Houston Spartans find their fifth round and put us on map point. One more round, they will knock this series up at one apiece. Starting to get the shovels ready to bury this map if they can. Teddy getting lined up on the money by Conwa. However, even with being up here in five to four in this position, how many times over have we seen people make clutch plays? And you can see the comms are lit up. They're trying to get composed, make sure things happen. Purez sitting on a three streak. They can go ahead and sneak away three himself, get a cruise middle of the missile bit. Might be able to just put a checkmate scenario on this match. Absolutely. Teddy, fast play onto this B site, trying to be cog in the machine. That is this fourth space esports. It's exotic. Now getting pushed back onto this back bridge area. The quick plays from Houston Spartans to get this bomb planted, get this early pressure. As it does go down, they will lose Perez though in the process. So it is a 3v4. Rep trying to win this fight here up against Exotic. Exotic is going to not get the win on that oh, situation, though, but they do get the switch out. And Chris coming into clean house as we're going to get that defuse and uh, not surprising whatsoever. Here we are. One more point away to decide it at five to five apiece. Another round 11. How many will we see today? I feel like we just keep asking that question over and over again. But like Ajax said, it is one round that really decides the next flow of how this series goes. Fourth Space Esports takes a 2-0 lead. They're going to be feeling really good heading into the rest of this series. But for the side of Houston, you're able to steal this one away, knock things up, back at one apiece in the series. You can really turn the tides right back in your favor. Said earlier, call him Weddy because he's married to the W and he might see maybe a divorce from that here in this game. But Teddy has something to say about that trophy down. Early position control on B and everybody recognizing it. So... They lose. They also lose rep in the middle. Chris pulling up the sniper to catch him slipping. Yeah, and that's a big play. We hadn't seen the sniper out a lot. Not something that they'd be expecting. Whips the sniper out, able to find that first blood. Open things up in the round for fourth space esports. Really puts the pressure on the Spartans now, especially being on that offensive side. You've got to find a way to get this bomb planted on one of these sites to turn the tides back in your favor, but it's so hard to do right now. Already being down a man. Make it two as Chris radiating with the sniper right now and sitting them down gives them the two-man advantage here in the round and it might be the map in their favor the late game play of them not being prepared oh, no. for chris but conwood getting the long shot there the smg wasn't prepared for that either so now all of a sudden you remove chris from being a big problem here comes the plant and nobody's around to give that a stop maybe they figured it out now but that plant is gonna go down Com was able to find two now in the round, even things up two apiece. Now things start to really mount on fourth space as now 36 seconds left to get this bomb plant. But look at Kamwa. He's so far out of position right here. He's caught out in the middle and Rambi able to sit him down. And that is fourth space esports taking a 2-0 dominant lead in this series. Not what you expected to see when they started to go up, but Houston Spartans, after their last time, they were able to get the W in map number two. It helped force that pressure they needed to get them closer to a game five. They kept themselves in it. They fought really well on that map four on hardpoint. This time, though, they're going into hardpoint terminal down 2-0, where they lost over a 100-point differential against them on that map this is not looking good for houston spartans but this is looking phenomenal for fourth space esports who started the day today and losers side and have only been collecting w since 
I mean, collecting Ws is an understatement, right? I mean, they have won every single match they've been in since they've dropped down to this loser's bracket. Obviously, why you're seeing them here in the grand finals now and forcing the bracket reset. Now you find yourself up 2-0, one map away from 4th Space Esports, our number one seed, 11-0 throughout the first couple of days of this tournament, and now have the opportunity to put this one away clean in a 3-0 sweep in grand finals. It's that time, and we're going to get that much closer as we are going to take a very short break getting prepped for that game number three everybody we've been here since this morning at 11 we got more matches to go stay tuned stick with us as we have potentially one more game on the board for fourth space esports to take it all and ladies and gentlemen welcome back quick break for us there the players are itching to get started and we are as well fourth space esports is on the brink of becoming your game arena cheetah Wunga modern warfare 3 kickoff event champions eight thousand dollars a shiny pretty penny on the line and right now they are one map away from doing so terminal hardpoint a map that has been around for ages and they're looking to get it done on the fan favorite yeah, and right now the only option Houston has from this point forward is to win, win, win. That's all they can do to try and keep themselves alive. And Fourth Space Esports has denied them over and over again. And this is the inevitable point we have reached. But Terminal Hardpoint is going to be what could be the final stop for them. Last time, Matt, it was dominant. There's no other way to put it. If they repeat that same success, we are crowning them the champions. Absolutely, and 4th Space Esports has really been successful in the hardpoint game modes as we've seen throughout the last best of five, throughout this best of five. They seemingly just have a hold on the hardpoint game mode, and now heading into a map that really favors them as well. Uh, okay, a couple of early shots, and it looks like we may have had a little bit of a rules malfunction there. That's what I'm going to go ahead and chalk that up to, because that's really been the only reason we've been resetting anything so far, is due to just... You know, Call of Duty doesn't want to put Call of Duty League rules in the game. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me, man. So wait on the update coming into the future for that. We'll get there and uh, we, <laughs> let's see, like, let's see. No, yeah, yeah. No, we'll, we'll be getting it ready. I'll just take a look over our production. So it does seem like there's potentially a rules mishap. But once that is all situated, we'll be right back into the swing of things. Like we said, currently the set count is in a bracket reset where they have, uh, the fourth space, East, fourth space Esports has already gotten one Best of five win and a incredibly stressful game five scenario that happened just a little while ago, putting Spartans back down there into the loser side with them. But now they're sporting that two map win and it is on their map pick here in terminal trying to see if they can take it all home. Yeah, uh, it's really all on them. I think this is their map to lose. They've shown so much dominance throughout this series. Even in the last series, had multiple chances to put it away earlier than a map five. Now with the chance for the clean sweep to end off the bracket in perfect, pristine fashion, at least for them. If you're a Houston Spartan fan, you're hoping that your boys make it a little bit mixy here and bring this one back on a terminal hard point. But I do have to admit, it is looking a bit doom and gloom for the side of the Houston uh, Spartans. Yeah, it's definitely looking a little bit rough for them right now, but it is definitely looking like the light at the end of the tunnel for a very, very long day for not only the players on the field, but also for us who've been having a phenomenal time all day long. You can see everyone trying to get woken up. This could be the end of it all right here. This could be the final closeout that they're looking for as everybody's shoving their face directly into that monitor, looking like they're about to eat it, looking get getting close to the dinner time. It's time. Who's going to be eating a bunch of lead? Who's going to get the W? It is now decided. Hard point is our third match. Houston Spartans, you're backer against the wall. What can you do? Down 0-2. Rambi will find the first blood, and oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> a three-piece with nades off the rip, all left on to Chaco. Sit him down, and it's fourth space esports sending Houston to the nether realm. Quick cap and a quick way to send a message as everybody got pieced up. It's going to be a bit difficult to even make an attempt to try and push over there. It's so early on too. Dude, even with that, Choco goes in the back there and gets a couple hits, but they still can't line up a perfect position to try and pivot over to P2. We're going to get some more points over there on one though. It's going to at least even this up almost as we get a, lot, a solid amount of points right back with that 11. 
Yeah, Fort Space Esports willing to hit this as well. I mean, you don't really have a lot to fight for besides spawns. You may as well try to get some of that last little bit second time. A couple of kills come in. Now the trade's going to have to come through. Chris kind of pinned down right here behind this trash can. Rep and Chaco going to be able to find two. Even things back up. They're in full control of this. But Teddy doing everything he can to try to lock down this hill for Fort Space Esports fighting his way through. Conwa just trying to make an honest living over there, just clocking in the work and everybody trying to tear down the walls and nobody's been able to get in there to say something about it just yet. Pretty free points game, but now it's time to jump in. They're going to sneak them out. They're going to go ahead and take it right away as Exotic gets both of them trying to hold down the fort. Yeah, I mean, you just got to hold down that hill. It's a definite money hill for the side of the Houston Spartans, but it's a beautiful break in from fourth Space Esports as they continue to find kills around the map. Conwa finds one in the back, but amounts to nothing more than that as he is holding down that top plane area trying to lock down p3 for the side of the spartans right now it's all about trying to build up an early lead and often that's not been something that they were able to do last time here we go on the plane it's not too easy to break that position as we have seen many times over and it's now on them to try and get the way around but they are being met heavily outside the plane yeah, they are. There's a lot of pressure being applied from the side of the Houston Spartans here. Rep's going to be looking at ways to make up through the back side of the plane here, but he's looking into two gun barrels from the side of Fort Space Esports. Now, here comes the push, and from the side. Now he's going to be able to find the kill. That's one, two coming from Chris on the side. It's still Fort Space Esports in full control right now, but Rep with a big kill. Chaco finds the kill as well. It's going to be Houston that locks this hill down at least for a couple seconds before the contest comes in. Great job all the way through. Rep and Chaco just really dominating this position all the way. But now it's time to start considering your options, which we've already taken a look. There's Chaco already setting himself up in the back of Burger Town. It's going to be a big fight. We've mentioned it many times over at Bears Repeating. The entire lead that you have right now or the entire deficit you might have can shift immediately while being over there in Burger Town. Yeah, it absolutely can. I mean, it's one of those hills that can completely derail your train trip if you're on one right now as they are trying to find their way back into this game. But it's Chris and Exotic that are going to be able to find two there quickly. Chaco finds one, but not any more than that. Three dead in the feed. And Fort Space Esports with a break on in there. Shoot the trophy out. Make sure you do the dirty work. The 100-point threshold has been crossed. You still got 43 seconds left to work with on this hill as well. Almost not even surprising anymore that Teddy constantly finds his way to break through. And we're going to get not one. And we're actually only going to get one. Rambi was able to get picked off right there. So now you have to second guess moving in. Here comes all of Houston Spartans lighting themselves up for what could be a big push. But they're already being watched on the corner. Yeah, and trying to come in for the side. Chris will find one. Now the help from the hill. Teddy will find one as well. It'll be a couple of pinstripes in the kill feed, but now a contested hill. And Houston able to break their way on in, but it's only 12 seconds left. Look at that. You got to start to hit that rotate on the bookstore. They're get, collecting their points where they can, but you really only need to let one rock at that point. That's actually going to end up leading to a quick pickoff there for Rambi as he caught him leaving the store. And not even just that, Exotic catching him too. So no navigation over to the bookstore at all. None at all, and it's a complete hold from the side of Fourth Space Esports. You have to find a break here for Houston. You cannot let this lead get away from you too early. As Exotic, the snakes are in, the shots are in, it's three dead in the feed. Chuckle will find back with one, but immediately get traded, and it's 20 seconds down, up, gone for the side of Fourth Space Esports, and they continue to just lock down this library, which is normally not necessarily a money hill, but for the side of Fourth Space Esports, looking like it. I mean, oh! so when you continue to pick off player by player by player like that, you'll take that every day of the week. Exotic pushing himself up to a 16 and 7. And you mentioned it a second ago. It may not be a money hill, but it has been only cash that they're ready to just drop into the bank. If this keeps up this way, this lead has now lapped over a 100 point deficit. I mean, it's just nothing that Spartans can do. You talked about it before. This was the map that they got absolutely decimated on, and it's happening again. Fort Space Esports has absolutely fought their way back from the loser's bracket, now trying to find a way to lock in this grand finals, take home your $8,000 already, the 200-point threshold being crossed. Ajax this is looking at getting out of hand. This is starting to look like a whole wrap, and everything is going in the favor of Fort Space Esports. If you are looking at this lead, you are feeling good, and they want to end it right now. We mentioned it before. Game 5s may happen a lot pre-reset, but 3-0s are usually quick to follow because everybody's deflated. Oh! And right now, Teddy is on a 5-kill streak. He gets another one in there, too. Teddy gets dropped finally, but man, he put in that work that he needed. 
Absolutely put in the work, clocking in, working overtime, 220 mark now, cross for fourth base, esports only 25 seconds now remain for the Spartans to try to make a hold, 13 seconds now left on this hill, the rotations on to P2 are already won from the side of fourth space, they are here, they are ready to go, they have won all the rotational gunfights, they just have to lock down this last little bit of hill time. It's looking like a checkmate situation right now, they're catching everybody leaving the plane, and it looks like they're gonna deplane plane unsafely, Khan was not gonna get there, we only have 10 seconds left on the clock wreck gets picked off too and in our final 10 seconds it sure is how looking like fourth space esports are going to be your arena code cross chino 8k winners here finally in the bracket reset up against houston your grand champions after a excruciating weekend of cod all the way through the loser's bracket they go. They force the bracket reset and the 3-0 clean sweep to finish it off there. Wow. What an insane job from them. Holding a 3-0 loss to start the day. Being dropped down into the loser's bracket. And that did not matter at all. All. They do it again. Terminal hardpoint belongs to them twice in a row, and this time they were able to finish the job. Clean sweep with the brooms out and ready to hold up that trophy and finally put this one to bed. I mean, it, you talked about it before we, you know, before we even got to cast yesterday. You know, if you look in the mirror, they started it out just how they ended it, right? A 0-3 start, they drop down to the loser's bracket, they fight all the way back, and how fitting, how poetic for them to end on a clean sweep over what we thought was one of, if not the best team in the tournament. You see it there, no Karachi needed here in this one. Again, the 3-0 sweep from 4th Space Esports Ajax, you can't give them enough credit. You can absolutely cannot, and then see, even if you didn't want to try, it doesn't matter. They're sitting there holding the first place finish exactly what they wanted and exactly what they deserve. All in favor of them. Man, I just, it, just, we're getting, it looks like we're going to get an interview coming up pretty soon with the say. whole team at that as well. I get the feeling we're going to hear some spicy talk coming up because Houston was one to drop some words at the start, and it was, in fact, <laughs> Not them who got to finish it at the very end. Yeah, I mean, Houston was talking their business all weekend long, but at the end of the day, it's who's going to stand up and stand on that business. And it was absolutely fourth space esports. They end up taking in total six maps off of the Houston Spartans in total. That is something to behold right there. Two best of fives now in their back pocket. And I'm just ready to get this interview underway. I mean, we got word for protection. I, the entire team. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie for I, the chat. I'm I'm looking forward to it. What's uh all all but one? We're gonna get three of the four who are gonna come up here and give us a chat. And look, we've been going on since eleven o'clock earlier today. Well, they're getting prepped, man. What what an incredible day all the way through. There's not really much more we could ask for. The very biggest reason why we even got to be on this side, of course, is of the cast off voting that happened. And thank you to everybody who allowed us to be here because we got absolutely spoiled to be able to talk about all these incredible matches throughout the day. No, absolutely. I mean, we cannot thank you guys enough. And it's just been an incredible event put on here by Game Arena and Chitawanga. Incredible action for COD here. Just seeing the AM scene really come and show what it's all about. And it's just really been incredible to see this weekend. And of course, never can shy away. $8,000 in the back pocket. That's got to feel good. Absolutely. Yeah, we talked about the split earlier. I believe it's 700 out to third place, around 2K or so split on the second place. And that means there is a solid near 6K that's being split amongst the first place finish there. 5K across both ways. Like some people are going to be leaving the night, you know, with, with the McChickens, but some others are going to be getting their steaks. <laughs> and you got to be feeling pretty happy about that if you're that team, especially with the bragging rights to start things off here with the launch event. No, absolutely. And, you know, if we can, before we get the, the team in here, just toss it to the bracket one more time. I mean, it was an incredible day through COD. All day long, we saw just absolute incredible COD. I mean, I just can't get over the fact of how close some of these series were. I mean, you can look at it there. 1-3-2, 1-3-2, another 3-2, 4-3-2 so score lines, 3 map 5s. You can't get better than that.
It can't get better than what is going to be a great finish for them, and they get to talk about it. Let's go ahead and hear from the champions themselves. Fourth Space Esports are going to be your champions here today. It is, uh, Hi, boys. hey, all four of them are here. Look, yeah. the floor is your. Not much to say. Let's Congratulations. Go. We're so stupid. How y'all feeling? We're so dumb. Uh, we We're are good. exhausted. It's We're hot. Good. Sweat. That was a like grind okay, today. Yeah. To be honest, like we just threw winners on purpose to play more COD. We were bored, so yeah. that's fair. I mean, that's honestly fair. You lo the love for the game yeah. just surpasses everything there. I mean, talk about it though, guys. You start the day off not in the best state, right? Down 0-3 to maybe a team that you shouldn't have really lost to. We heard Teddy talk about it. Start off a little slow. You went 11 and 0 yesterday, mm -hmm. and now that's coming up. Oh, I was about to say, you guys, oh. starting off 11-0 and 0 <laughs> yesterday, not the start you wanted here, but ever since that loss, you guys absolutely perfect through the loser's bracket. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like to make excuses, but there was some fugues going on that first series. Like, Vlad's controller broke the first map. It was just annoying. Bro, I was tweaking, bro. Yeah, it was just a, it was <laughs> such a, just, it was a terrible situation, but I mean, honestly, we lost that, and I still knew we were going to end up winning the event. We just had to play more matches. The ego. You know, I, I got I got to bring it up because this is your time to shine to be able to uh, get get your talk back because you already were able to do that in mid match. The first person to stand up was not you guys during that match. It was Houston who stood up, but they don't get to talk anymore. It's you guys. How, how, what, what do you have to say after all that and walking away with the W? Uh, I mean, to be honest, I just can't believe they have that much energy to scream at us at a local. That's in, that's typical, to be honest. But, I mean, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Unfortunately, screaming doesn't win any matches. Like, we just sit there and talk and watch them run at us like Nazi zombies with their heads cut off, and like, so that, it's a wrap. <laughs> this is crazy. I love, I love how Teddy's in the back, just like, just oh this, my god, he said, he said that. that. I mean, if you heard our comms, we're just sitting there talking to each other like normal humans, and they're like screaming when they get a kill. It's just, it's pointless. No, I mean, you guys absolutely played perfect COD, especially in that second series. I mean, talk about it. The bracket reset goes the full five. You guys are able to bring it back, set up a second set, and then from there on, it was absolute curtains. Getting the brooms out, 3-0 sweep clean. I mean, talk about it. How did that second series feel compared to the first? Yeah, one of all yeah I got you. Uh, honestly, after the first series, we felt like the two maps we lost, we probably like, probably should have went our way. Like, we just we, we messed up really bad. We trolled, like, a couple situations. And like we figured we were way better than them and we were super confident. So, I mean, we just played the maps we wanted to play. It was, it was a pretty easy series. Well, don't want to keep you here forever. Like you said, it's a long day for all parties involved. It's time to go celebrate. Have a great time and congratulations on winning the launch event here today. Appreciate you guys. Yep. Thank Later. you. Uh, man, all absolute, right. absolute studs over there, man. I mean, what a day i mean what a series what a weekend it has been an incredible one here for me and ajax you got anything left for us here brother oh absolutely i cannot believe for the very first time you know i've had the absolute privilege over my span of being a caster to cast up to now 20 games with call of duty being there in that 20th category and i must say this is probably my most fun experience i've had casting in general i am so much looking forward to doing this more often and i big thank you to cheeto and company for even putting this on in the first place all the other competitors we had here for the casters as well joining us and i was an absolute blast to be able to do this here with you matt hopefully this isn't the last time of it but what a what a great way to send that off after all these insane insane matches we had throughout the day uh yeah man i mean so glad for you to get your first experience casting cod to be this good because the level of cod play today was absolutely insanity one last shout out going to Cheeto Wonga and Game Arena Land for producing this and putting this on. And speaking of producing, shout out to our boys Guffy Fish, AP Sully, getting the name right there. And uh, I think Anthony as well being our observer today. He had a, uh, fought through it with a, with a finger injury, I heard. So shout outs <laughs> to Anthony there. Um, but before we go, I mean, that's going to be it for us. Again, thank you to everybody that voted for us in the cast off, making this dream come true for us. I know me personally waiting a year for this event to come back around, getting the chance to compete again and getting the lock down the win was a big, big thing for me. So thank you to everybody involved. And hopefully for me and Ajax, we'll see you guys very, very soon.